Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Elden Ring Invasion stream. Hello everybody, hello. What's up Anthony? Hello Y, hello El Gran B. Wiko, what's up man? How goes your day? Oh mysterious, hello. Timbo, hello, yes, I, I do have the Mariah Executioner Sword, indeed. Uh, so yeah, I haven't really, other than the one bleed video that we did, I haven't really messed around with like strength arcane yet. I wasn't sure exactly what kind of weapons would be beneficial on it, but we do have access to some fun ones. I love my Ultras, so we get we get the Great Sword. I get one of my favorite Halberds. We also get to use the Mogwin's Sacred Spear. Does pretty good damage too, honestly. Uh, 708 on a Great Spear is pretty decent when it has a bleed buildup. What else did I add onto this? We're going to try the Twin Blades. I tried to, the Scythes, so we might dual wield some Scythes. Wanted to try that out. They have good bleed buildup. They have strength scaling, so... Uh, yeah, and I have the Watchdog Greatsword, that's right. Yeah, I threw the Lion's Claw on it because we tried that out on that Strength Stream and it worked pretty well. So we have that going for us, some dual wielding. Um, I'm not sure what we'll use the most, but I'm going to try to use the unique uh, bleed weapons the most, I suppose. Like the Spear. I don't get to use this unless I'm using an Arcane build, so we're going to try that out. Yeah, um, I don't know where we're going to invade first. Let's try... let's try Noxtella. I didn't get much of that on my level uh, 140, so hope 138 works better. Uh, yeah, I'm trying 138 lately because I get to invade both player bases, like 125 and 150. Whereas if you go 150, you cut yourself off from the 125 player base. So I don't really need those extra 10 levels. And this way I get to invade both player pools. I feel like 138 is just the, the nice in-between. <laughs> Nahil! Yes. Nahil! Uh, I don't have a lot of uh, occult weapons. I looked at the difference. They get like 40, 50 more AR, but they get like 20 to 30 less bleed depending on the weapon. Or like, you know, maybe less than 20, again, depending on the weapon. So I just went with blood infused anyway. I'd rather the bleed proc faster than have like 40 more AR, personally. Um, where are they though? Uh, they might be down below. Good morning, yeah. Oh yeah, okay, I'm gonna try Mogwin's Great Rune for you guys as well. Uh, isn't it supposed to come with some item when you use the Mogwins? Oh, well, I don't even know how to use it. I thought there was an item it gave you to crush. Yeah, Occult is okay, though. Like, if you're looking for more damage output and no bleed buildup, go, you go Occult. Totally. Oh, this way? Oh, he's over here. Hello there. Hello? Oh, you have to kill it. You have to activate it. Oh, wait, what? I have to use a Great Rune? With a Rune Arc? I have to act. Oh, I have to activate it before I go into an invasion. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm smart. I see. I've never actually done that, so there's that. Yeah, I actually read on it. I thought it made me lose a certain amount of max HP, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So, yeah, we're all good. Hello there. Hello, Demetria. Demetria. Let's do it. You have Marais. I have this. <laughs> well, oh, he's got the moon. All right, let's buff ourselves up a little bit then. I have the strength knot on this, so I get like 10 more damage. Well, not 10 more damage, but 10 more strength. So that can be very useful. Also, I wanted to see how well we can use the volcano pots. What a, what a chad. Or maybe not volcano pots, cursed blood pots, sorry. Volcano pots we use on our strength build. We're going to definitely use the Ash of War soon. I'm feeling it. Like now. I put in R1 for some reason. Don't know if I was at a stam or what, but <laughs> I couldn't pull out an R1. But goodbye, boys. That Ash of War does ridiculous amounts of damage. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> oh my god. I forgot, we've only used this one time actually. Really early on when I made my first arcane build. Uh, back when Rivers of Blood didn't even work. So I find that really funny. Let's go try Landell really quick. Almost a double, I know. Almost. Yeah, I have cursed blood pots. I need to make swarm fly pots. I think I need to get the the crafting material thing for it. The plans. Yo, CH, thank you so much, man. Been watching your videos. Has turned me around on PvP. Oh, that's awesome, dude. I'll be making my first PvP dedicated character soon. What level range do you recommend? Honestly, 
the best thing you can do, uh, whether, like no matter what platform you're on, uh, is try to beat the game at like a mid-level-ish, maybe like 70, 80, whatever you're capable of. Uh, create a backup save. That way you can always revert your character hey, back to that if you mess up his stats. And you can PvP. really level that I'll character up to whatever level you want afterwards. And then you always scene. have that one, like, backup ready of what you created. You know what I mean? That's like my recommendation for anybody. That way you can get multiple builds out of one character. Oh, I forgot the great rune. Damn, you're right. You're right. Thank you so much though, CH. But that's what, that's the best thing you can do. And then you can choose your level after that. Hello, Vagabond. That was a lot of buffs there, my friend. Ah, uh, you're using the Blasphemous Blade, okay. Um, you have a friend though. That's what I fear the most. Bleed! Oh my god, that almost one-shot me. <laughs> almost. That's actually really strong, I have to say. I don't know what that does. I don't like it though. <laughs> Rock throw. I guess that's the power of buffs, huh? Woo! Fun fight though, Vagabond. That actually almost one shot me. <laughs> oh, you're not the host, that's right. Well, uh, I know where the host is, but I just want to do this for fun. <laughs> I liked fighting your phantom though. Fun fight, man. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, is this not? Oh, it does only. Okay. You're right. I made the wrong ones. <laughs> that was actually funny. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I wasn't sure if he was there or not, like just sitting AFK. But the fact that he rolled out, that was funny. Oh, great rune! Yes, yes, you're right. You're right. Okay, we pop our great rune. Okay. Do I have to do that before every invasion, or? <laughs> Damn. You guys were on point for that. Thank you. I would have forgotten otherwise, so I can't even lie. Um, okay, let's go down to Mogwin's palace then, since... If you kill the host with just cursed blood pots, um... How, like, what do they do? Does it, does it build up curse? <laughs> I confused them with the bleed pots, I guess. Timbo. I don't think I could, though. There's only 10. There's only 10 ritual pots total, right? I couldn't find any more. Thank you so much, though, Timbo. Thank you. Okay, so what we have this now. So the Great Rune, it buffs PvE around me, right? It does lower my HP. That's why I don't like it. <laughs> I thought it didn't. I even read. I swear it didn't say that it increased or lowered HP when I read it, but it did. Ah, oh, it did. Where's the wall? There we go, I'm not dead. Okay, wow. Well. We're good. That's okay, I guess. I don't know how effective it'll be. It might be good against like some of the strong PV to have near me, but. Hey, hey, I'm gonna bleed all of you. Yeah, that's right. Fear me and my blood. Oh god. <laughs> now I fear you. Woo! Heal quick. Okay, we can try that again. I want to get a triple kill with that. It's like my goal. 100% my goal, but he does so much damage as well. Wait. <gasps> if they aggro that, we can try out the Yeah. Yeah. Does it cost me more HP to use again? No, it doesn't. Huge, but sad that they killed it. Man, I really want to see if that's effective, but really not helping out right now. <laughs> Maybe, though. 
You thought you were strong. You're only strong because you have a team. Ow. Dutch. The whips are going to maybe hit me, though. Now we're good. Last heal, though. Oh, wow. I haven't seen that in a while. Okay, they're going to chase me hard here. Which is fine. We can, we can re-FP boost. And then we can try to boost up the enemies just because that's really what I want to try. If it works, maybe it's worth it to lose the HP. Wasim, thank you so much, man. If it doesn't work, I don't know if I'll keep them on the build, to be honest. Oh, that also poisons me. Okay. What the heck? What the? Did he touch the summon pool to get iframes? Interesting. That's quite different. I've never seen someone do that. <laughs> Rat, thank you so much. And Wasim. How do you list your weapons without spaces? Uh, you have to organize by uh, acquisition. So click L3 and then try to organize your weapons uh, by how you attain them. Nice. I can separate them here. I really want to try the, the last attempt at this buff. How do you list your weapons without spaces in between? See if it works. The dragon breath is the worst thing in existence. Can we just all agree on that? <laughs> now they're all buffed. This might do something good for me, to be honest. Maybe. It's range is gnarly, man. It's range is crazy. Ow. I'm getting hit by that. Nope. Jeez. I need to bleed kill this guy. It's my only hope. I don't think we're doing it. They have all the area cleared. They're chilling now. They have a lot of AoE. They have a Dragon Breath. Which basically covers the whole map. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this will be a tough one. But perhaps we can do it with the Spears. Yo, thank you, Rat. I appreciate it. Yeah, you want to click L3 for your organization of your inventory. That's crazy, actually. The range that has. I need to separate one of them. But that hey. dragon breath, that dragon breath be gnarly. Hey! Hey! hey. I'll come back if you want to fight me. Whoop. You think you can face... Although you're just gonna FP breath me, so that's why I'm keeping my space, man. You gotta understand, that dragon breath. It's a little bit gnarly in a three-man team. It gets that way. And you got like a... <laughs> a ranged specialist back there with all his FP. Oh. More spam. You can use the hill here, I think, to an extent. I don't know if I can dodge the overall end part of that, but... Okay. I don't know where this hill goes. More dragon crap. Jesus. <laughs> okay. It actually has so much dragon breath. That even hit me over here. That's pretty crazy. Oh, I'm dead. Alive. I didn't know the host was right there. Gotta dodge the AoE. <laughs> dodge your Bloodhound step with my Bloodhound step. <laughs> okay. Somehow we're alive in this right now. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> Got to outrun his step with my step. I want to go kill that phantom that has low HP back there. That'll give me a heal. Hello. Oh, he's coming. Oh my god, dude. Hang on. We might be able to pull something out of our ass. I don't know what they have left. Yeah, basically, we can use that to distract. And then... Okay, he can catch up to me with his. So I gotta watch out. Ah, uh, he left. <laughs> okay. That's fair. Okay, he won't chase me alone, though. So there's that. But he will start chasing me the second he kills that. <laughs> Rivers of blood, yep. 
All right. I'm not going to run into you. I see you. Yes, yes, this way. We have regen. Taking them on a journey. Yes. Come this way, whip boy. I had a rough team here one time. Dragon breath. <laughs> We're trying our best, dude, but I don't know if we can pull it off, to be honest. They get a lot of FP back here. That's the one thing. So they kind of have a constant flow of FP regeneration. Because this counts as uh, an open world area, I think. Oh, that's a large AoE in my face. Nice. Okay. I think these guys are kind of like a, a heal source for them, so... Yeah, this area has had some of the harder invasions for sure. How do they have infinite FP? Because when they kill these zombies, they kind of get them back. Uh, so as you can see that blue aura they're getting, they're refilling their FP every time they dragon breath kill stuff. So they get like heals back. Makes it extremely difficult to deal with. Slowly but surely I'm getting health back though, so that's kind of huge. Which is nice. Honestly, if we had one alone for like a second, they, they would die quick. But I don't know if we'll get that. Hello. And the dragon breath is just the worst, man. I don't know how he has so much though. Do the phantoms get FP back when they kill stuff? Like the NPC stuff? I suppose they do. But... <laughs> that one sun bro though, he's been going off with that dragon breath for a while. I can whittle them down this way maybe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and they have heals. Oh god, okay. <laughs> This will be a tough one. Unfortunately, they do, huh? That is unfortunate. That makes it tough. They can kind of just clear out the area whenever they want and get FP back. This guy doesn't know how to dodge. <laughs> well, honestly, at this... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Like, the, the, wow, another FP flask, huh? Man, they made a mistake with how much you can just kind of spam a lot of attacks and Ashes of War in this. I can tell you that right away. I, a lot of times I fight teams and they just hold me off with AoE the whole time. Whereas if I was in melee combat with them, we'd be chilling. The host went somewhere. Where'd he go? Wow, they have so many flasks. Where is he? I feel like he's going to try to come around on me. Yep. Yeah. I don't have it on this build. There we go. That'll help a lot. That'll help infinitely. That's only two. He still has Dragon Breath though, like I'm honestly surprised when I see that. Hey dude. Like, it costs so much FP, like your build must have so much FP. You're gonna bow at me now? <laughs> okay, I'm down for a fight with you man. Now you're gonna bow at me. <laughs> All right, I guess. Sure. Okay. After you dragon breath my ass for like 10 minutes. <laughs> That's fair. Fun fight, man. Good fight, Jordy. Fun fight.
very long, but it was fun. <laughs> this area is rough for that. That's like I like the underground area, but man, the fact that they replenish so many uh, FP flasks just by killing some of the mobs, so so crazy. Yo, thank you guys. That was that was fun though. That was hard. Yeah, dude, the twin spears are so good for roll catching. So like, honestly. When people are just kind of like spamming with long range, they're just my go-to. If I get close to them, I can hit them at least twice for some really good damage. Yeah, that was, that was a tough one. I'll, I'll give it to you. That was tough. The dragon, honestly though, like the dragon breath in the team is so tough. You have to play it like such a like a distance or you have to hit them out of it before they cast it which is difficult when you have to worry about like two other players so I, I tend to keep the long range approach. You can kind of like run sideways and dodge it but in like small areas you really can't. So uh, I like I, I could use the bleed mask but I don't really want to. It's not very fashionable. I like I like my home. I like I like the millennia home. Uh, my arcane's 45. There you go. There's the stats for you guys. There you are, there you are. Um, this Wait, why am I holding the claymore? <laughs> I mean, I guess we could try Sapugu claymore. We are on the... Oh, we didn't even touch the ultra yet. I wonder how good the bleed on this is. It has 159 bleed buildup. Hello there. Hey. Hey, come down. I want to first buff myself, Schmelf. I have a, a drink flask. G get off me. Back it up. Back it up. No. No. I want to see the damage output I can do here. There we go. Wait. What? I hit left. Game. You fool. <laughs> oh, this is an interesting level for him. He likes his jump attack. Oh, that actually bled him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pretty powerful. Hello there, anus. Something about <laughs> anus. the level of patience, calm, the and in your invasions. All right, Psychotic. man. Lore appropriate. Yo, Glagoroth. Thank you, man. I've just been playing the Souls games a lot, so you know those situations that seem rough. That that happens a lot. <laughs> you kind of just get used to it. Yeah, that was good. Did I bleed him on the? I guess it was three hits, huh? Three hit bleed. We'll try this out some more. Let's go to Noxtella. I think it was three. Kobas, because I hit him at the beginning once, right? So it it was two really close together, but there was that one at the beginning. So two to three, probably. So that, what else? Some other things have pretty high bleed rate. What about two scythes? Let's try that. They got like 132 bleed. Thank you so much, though, uh, Glygaroth. Uh, yeah, I mean, bleed is strong in PV no matter what for most things um it's it's hard to say i haven't tried all the bosses but hello there hello reginald uh among us among us <laughs> that's pretty cool okay um i guess i want to try the spear out some more though speaking of did among us get an update i haven't played that in a while and it, it had some good things going for it it was fun with some of the Souls tubers. So he's got a spear and that, huh? That in the offhand, spear in the main hand. Interesting. Oh, we got like some high latency here. Okay, so I, I know I need to space that from very far away. Hmm. <laughs> I can appreciate that. That's pretty cool. Oh, Among Us dodged all of that. Suspicious. Suspicious Among Us. Oh, you, what the? Oh, we've got some high, high ping going on here. <laughs> okay. Makes sense. I 
A lightning pot. That's kind of cool. Fun fight among us. Fun fight, man. Very fun. Interesting build. Yeah, it's a neat build. He's got like the crag blade and the bolt of grand sacks in the offhand. Hmm. Nice fight though. That was fun. You don't see that too much. Actually, yeah, I never see that at all. A spear and a, or, uh, a great thrusting sword, sorry. Great rapier is what I was going to call it, but... Uh, hey, thank you, host. I appreciate that, man. Uh, yeah, so when you use the Mariah Executioner, I don't know if it's that good, to be honest. I mean, it's more just for having fun with the Ash of War, but it's pretty hard to pull that off. It, uh, I don't know. It's not my favorite. I have it, though. Oh, ancient dragon themed. Yeah, that's true. Love the content. Uh, Marcos, that guy was really good, actually. Just because I beat someone doesn't make them not good. His spacing was on point. He could have easily won that with two good hits. That player was good. Uh, I mostly reallocate my Vagabond for most of my builds. Just because it, it ends up being some of the more optimal attack stats. Yeah, you can do it uncharged as well. I mean, you don't get the slash even if you get the ranged one, right? So, I don't know. Uh, host. Thank you, though, man. I do want to use this more, though. I don't get to use the pitchfork, like, at all. Let's go try somewhere random. Down here. You got into a fencing duel. Nice. Yeah, I've been used... I guess I used the... Uh, the stitcher quite a bit. This is my go-to, like... Heavy thrusting sword, but I don't know. Other than that, I don't use a lot of them. Hey, the fawns. Uh, what's your opinion on the sword seal? I think under level like 80, the sword seal is pretty worth it. If you can't make uh, the the 40 vigor health break point, then definitely use that because those five stat points from 35 to 40 vigor kind of make up for the uh, extra damage you're gonna take overall, and you also get like five endurance strength and dex out of it. So. Thank you. Above that, Ever and you start to not need it. Uh, Fawns, thank you, man. Uh, Hangry, just in invasions, we came across each other. I mean, they were all very fun. None of them particularly stick out so ridiculously. We've done, like, hosting together. We've done, like, arena brawls together. Uh, they're all on the channel, though, if you want to check them out. Just type my name in, like, another Souls content creator. I have a, I have a few that I've done. Uh, Hangry, thank you, man. They were all great, though. Not enough. Well, I could have went to 50 arcane, but it only added like 2 bleed to each of my weapons, so... I, I don't think it was kind of worth it to go from 45 to 50. Hello there! <laughs> you chose poorly, Raz. You chose poorly. You dared approach the scepter of doom? Well, pitchfork. This is a pitchfork of doom, I guess. <laughs> I thought he had Rivers of Blood. I was going to challenge it. I was going to have a bleed off. May the better bleeder win. He chose death. A little bit. A little bit. He did. No. How disrespectful is it to kill Moog with his own weapon? <laughs> Just go in. No. Ah, I just didn't know where to put that one extra stat point. <laughs> no particular reason why I'm 137 and not 138. Basically the same thing. Fork of doom. <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh, I would say Vagabond, Chris. That's what I use. Uh, and, and Gany. Thank you, man. Gany Medes. I'm sorry if I butchered that name. Uh, since I watched your stream, welcome back then, man. Yeah, it's been good. Elden Ring has been a great time. Um, I actually like that underground water area. Do you think we can get any in the volcano? I don't know if we'll get one at this level, but I'll try. I'm behind dual sight. Yeah, yeah, I gotta try that. That's right. Oh, okay. Look at that. Instant invasion. Dual scythe. Thank you. What's your opinion on the odd mechanic with points and hyper armor of great weapons and colossal weapons? 
The fact that when using G's or CW has your poise stat and then add the hyper armor? Yeah, I think that was a very poor decision, RZ. Uh, it's weird that if, if you have over 60 poise essentially and you swing any colossal or great like class weapon, it actually halves your poise and then adds a flat 30. So if I swing a greatsword, uh, I actually only have 61 poise because it halves it to 31 and then it ad adds the standard flat amount for whatever weapon type it is. So yeah, I think that was a bad decision. I think they should have added a small amount to the weapon on top of poise. And lowered overall highest poise amount you could get. That would have been my go-to. Thank you, though. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Melania. Blade of Mikula. <laughs> oh, man, I want to parry that. I want to try. But I can't do that with two scythes in my hand. So that's unfortunate. Power up myself. I dodge your fireball with a wall. Whoa. I missed that hit because I'm a failure. <laughs> this way, I need to lead him to. No, I don't need to lead him anywhere. You know what? Let's try. Ow! Rude and inconsiderate. <laughs> um, should I try the Mirai or should we just go for a in the heal one more time? They seem to be down with their lightning spears, so I can't easily use the kneel. I am a little afraid of how much damage that will do. Wow, why would you run into that, you crazy? <laughs> oh god. He could have kept that going and I would have been dead. I got caught on that corner. <laughs> Amazing. This thing is too good though. Holy, actually. Um, what about this? This could be for all the funny times right here. I kind of want to front flip him when he does the... Uh, do it. Do it. Do it. I want to I wanna front flip you right out of the air. <laughs> we bled him with that. That's kind of cool. I'm trying to poison me. That's rude. Ow. This actually don't hurt that much, overall. He's dead. Bam! Oh, I ran out of FP, but I did hit him out of it. I did what I promised. And I'll do it again. <laughs> oh, I gotta slow that down for it to be a roll catch. Okay. Bam! <laughs> Melania ain't got nothing on front flips. <laughs> Fun fight, man. I appreciate you letting us challenge each other. Front flip. -o. Nice. We actually pancaked through it. Pretty nice. Oh, nice, Dallas. I'll check it out, man. Uh, Yeah, that worked. I feel like it bled pretty quick for what it is. The watchdog. Yeah. Oops. Uh, so I'm not really sure if Moog's rune is worth it. Mm. Maybe with some stronger PvE around it might be. Excuse me. Uh, because it, it buffs the enemies around you, right? To a certain degree. And if they get a kill, it, it regens your, one of your it regens some of your HP to my knowledge, or flask. I have to read it again. But everyone in chat bullied me into using it one stream. <laughs> so I got it for you guys. I don't know if I like it, but I'm trying it. I can read it. Or the wiki has like more of the information on it. Moog is bad. Yeah, it cuts your HP down by 10%. I, I thought so. That's why I wasn't using it, but basically I crack these, it buffs the PvE around me. That's the basic uh, definition of it, and I lose 10% of my health. Yeah, enemies and mobs just get like a slight buff. Well, I don't know how big the buff is. I say slight, but I'm, I'm unsure of how good it is. It's probably like, is that a bleed ultra? Indeed it is. It is. 
You want to use your weapon? I have a fun weapon for you. I'm a little afraid of how much the Moon Veil can do at this level. I feel like the answer is a lot, but... Not as much as this. <laughs> fun fight, man. Oh, when they kill the PvE, you get health back. It's like an evil eye ring buff. Okay, that's what I was reading late last night. I was like, well, remember I'm getting HP back for something? It's when they kill the mobs. Okay. <laughs> Dude, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Uh, they both have the same bleed buildup. I think most weapons, depending on the class they're in, will have the same bleed buildup. Like, uh, 159, 159, because they're both colossal swords, but... Uh, the Greatsword is still better damage, because that has better flat damage. I think where the Watchdog's uh, Greatsword shines is when you heavy infuse it. It gets an S scaling and strength. And I think at certain levels of strength, it'll outdo the Greatsword. Because the Greatsword has lower scaling than the uh, Watchdog. Reverse Seed. Yeah, basically. I guess that's, that's a good way to look at it. It's a Reverse Seed. True. That's true. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I haven't used a lot of occult weapons. They are good, though. Don't get me wrong. You get higher AR. It just lowers the bleed rate, so what I'm going for on bleed builds is always, like, the highest bleed possible, personally. But... Have I tried arcane int builds? No, not yet, actually. I haven't mixed arcane with either of the other stats, like faith or intelligence. I know faith arcane is for all the dragon stuff, right? So we're gonna have to make a dragon build eventually. Definitely gonna be doing that at some point. Almond. Oh no, he's by patches. Hello, Almond. Almond. Hello. <laughs> you wanna bloodhound this? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Why is this so good? This thing got buffed heavy since the last time I used it. And it was good when I first used it. Like what? Just absolutely close range. Jeez. Uh, Parker, thank you so much, man. Phenomenal content. I'll let, I'll let the bot read it because it's going to start in a second. But thank you, man. Uh, I try to keep a good attitude, yeah. I feel like that helps. No one wants to hear someone angry all the time. Thank you, Parker. It is crazy strong, yeah. It definitely- it stuns as well. I think that's one of the stronger parts to it. Arcane is too OP for me. <laughs> yeah, it definitely feels just like a better strength or dex build. That's really it. Content, it does so I much damage. What in the hell? Gameplay and great mood slash attitude. Thank Happy you so much, though, Parker. It's been good so far. I, I kind of knew Bleed would be fun, though. <laughs> just because it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, occult. If you have a weapon that already has innate bleed buildup, you can occult infuse it. It'll it'll get a higher bleed buildup, uh, not as high as blood infuse, but it'll keep its damage higher. So, like, it really depends on what you want. Some weapons will have thirty percent, or not thirty percent less bleed, but like thirty less bleed buildup, let's say, but like seventy more damage. So, like, raw damage is better. Oh, not stars of ruin. No one likes stars of ruin. Okay, this is not the double scythe invasion. That guy's got... <laughs> he's got the... The beautiful katana that we all know and love. And then we got a Stars of Ruiner in the back. You want to get close to me? Here. There you go. Get close to that, unfriendlyly. There you go. <laughs> oh! That did a lot of damage. <laughs> get close to that. You dare challenge me around my pillar? <laughs> Foolish. <laughs> Foolish wizard. <laughs> oh, out of FP, are we? Oh, you don't say. Oh, boy. Oh, out of, out of even more FP. Oh, no. Rise, if you will. <laughs> oh, I'm out of FP. No. <laughs> Fun fight. Northern sounds. I ran out of FP right for that last hit.
before that in Dark Hearts. I saw some people streaming Dark Souls 3 recently. I was like, yes, it still lives. That bleed came in clutch, yeah. That was a fun one, actually. What about the aqueduct? I guess that just, I mean, we could try. Dual Mogwin Spears. I don't know, you know what, great, like, dual Great Spears is rough for me. I feel like they're running L1s. I think I could do it with my Lance. They're, like, good. Um, they have a lot of stamina, I feel like. I like the timing of the one-handed uh, running attacks and stuff, too, and I could do, like, the crouch mix-ups. Um, what about the crouch L1? Is that decent on these? I guess that's pretty good. That could be, like, a roll catch to some extent. Uh, definitely max level, uh, Drew. 100%. As many as you can get to max, go for Um, this character is level 137. There you go. Crouch L1. Yeah, it seems pretty good. Definitely seems good. Hmm. I could try wielding curved swords. Not my normal love, but I could try. I have them for that reason. Mix it up a bit. Simon. Uh, I haven't done a pyro build yet. Like, not like a pure pyro build. That I have to try out as well. Oh, wow, hello there. Let's see how these do. I, you know what, I could have been making my my build a lot stronger by just doing the seppuku at the start of every fight as well. Cause I'm wearing the buff ring. <laughs> that buffs my damage. What is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> They're just going off. I don't know, curve swords are it. Gonna do my best to dodge that constantly, because that's gonna hurt. <laughs> anime Bell, I'm not equipped for this. I'm not an anime user. The only anime you know what? I can use my my spear. It's the most anime thing I have, I guess. Look at these guys. What are you <laughs> trying to kill me through the wall, wizard? Wizard things. Ha ah! <laughs> I tried to bait them with my own anime attack. Dodge. Dodge. Drink that blue flasks. Yes, this is my wall. And this shall be my wall. For all of time. You always want to find your tip one when invading. You want to find yourself a nice wall. One you can quickly duck behind cover for. That's the best way to go about it. <laughs> I want to kneel them both. It'd be so funny. Yeah, you like that? You like my corner attacks? I got some too. We're playing the cheese off. I'm down. <laughs> oh, wait, I just see another health bar. Hold up. Yeah, I did. All right, well, this will get interesting with my little wall here. Nice, the bleed build up. I'll take it. I'll take it. Four hours of corner cookery. <laughs> Let's try this Sapuku Claymore, actually. I wanna, I wanna see how well it does. Claymore is Baymore. Getting close to you, wizard. How do you, how do you fare? You guard. That's an interesting choice. Why? I'm, I'm bleed build. Why would you guard? Oh, but there's the guard break and the bleed at the same time. Well, your your teammate never arrived. I don't know where he is, but he's doing stuff over there. Oh, there he is. Hey, blue. Um, it only lasts like 15 seconds alpha zone. I mean, it could be useful in some scenarios, but I feel like I'd rather have the extra 10 strength than uh, have myself be saved when my health is low. In in my experience, I feel like you'd have to pair 
uh, the magic absorption one with the poise one, and they both last like 10 seconds. And with that, like your flask is done. Can be useful, but I don't know. It's better to get used to dodging and fighting wizards than just using that to kill them. Oh yeah, sorry boys. I can get rid of the bots. There you go. Hope I don't hit one of you with the, with the ban button. <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> My bad if I ever do that. Let's do it here again. Uh, no, I haven't actually watched that as in the anime claymore. No, not yet. More dual scythe attempts. Ronnie's consort. Yeah, you know what I wonder? Nah. Just thinking, the Moog's thing takes a cut of your HP, right? I wonder if it's your base HP it cuts. It'd be interesting if you could take off your health buffering, use it, and then get more HP out of it in the end, but I doubt that'll be the case. That'd be funny, though. Would you recommend 137? If you want to be within the one like 125 and 150 player pool, and like like people that go to 150, they can't invade down to the 125 player base. And I know there's like a split level decision that people like either 125 or 150. So I want I just simply want the most invasions, which is what I have. I get to invade both. Hello there. <laughs> Ow. Oh. <boy. laughs> <laughs> oh no 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 I wanna I wanna specifically heal him. That sounds like a great time. Basically I just love this weapon. No I hate that weapon though. With a burning passion. Hey, hey boys. You remember this? <laughs> you wanna fight AoE with AoE? That's fine. Wait, did you send the blue home? Ronnie, why would you do that? Hey! You're crazy, Ronnie. Um, uh, I don't know. I'll give you something else then. You were so nice. I'll do ultra fights. Ow! That was rude. Why'd that hit you? Hmm. I don't know why that hit you, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm at a loss, kind of. Fun fight, though, Ronnie. Ronnie's an honorable host, sent the dragon blue home. <laughs> but can we appreciate for a second what that blue phantom was running? He wore full bull goats. He had rivers of blood. And then he also had the dragon breath. It was like the trifecta. <laughs> That's really funny. This man went to Google and said, what's the best build? <laughs> And then he acquired it. <laughs> That's really funny. He probably had like 900 HP. No, he was probably using the, uh, the, the physic flask that allows you to have endless weight load for three minutes. So, <laughs> so like you don't even need to invest in stamina to do that with the full bull, go bull goat English. This, this pretty funny ways to get by that stuff. Oh yeah, here's the stats. No problem though. Um, I actually kind of like the watchdog. Okay, you know what? We didn't use... Let's try the great up here. You need that flask. That's BS. Or do you mean nerf? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. That that's a three minute one. That's that's crazy. It's like you, you have weight load issues. Here you go. <laughs> Physic flask. You're set. Yeah, three minutes is pretty long. And all you need to do is have like a, another armor set that you can swap to when it's like about to run out. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's pretty strong. Seize. Okay. 
Uh, I have used that in the past, the one that lets you uh, heal when wizards hit you. But you still get stunned by the magic, so you have to run the poised here as well. And I, I don't know, I don't find that that useful. Hello, guys. Let me buff myself here. This actually has a combo. Since it has like the jump R1 to R1, I wonder uh, how quickly you can make someone bleed with this. Although I gotta be careful, this is not the optimal place to be sitting. You want both enemies on your screen, never one behind you. We jump in! I missed. Oh, uh, okay, that missed. Oh, hey, a two handed twin blade. I can dig that. You don't see that much. Yeah, that combos. Did that bleed him in one hit? No, 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 because I, I did like a false hit on him earlier. Get jumped! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pretty strong though. We'll keep our buff going as well. Hey there. Okay, so it two bleeds. That's pretty powerful for a thrusting weapon. Um. Oh, he's down there. Hey there. Hang on. Let me just. Whoa. Playing some Assassin's Creed here. Goodbye, C's. Yeah, that's, that's, I'd say that's powerful together. A bleed infused weapon that has like a two hit combo. Pretty strong. You do have to land a jump light attack, I guess, though. So, like, it can be used to dodge certain things and punish, though. Definitely has potential. Such a good weapon. Yeah, it's actually really good. I, I like the heavy thrusting swords. I didn't when I first started playing the game. I don't know why. Then they kind of grew on me. And I realized that like the the running R2s with this weapon especially cover such a great distance that when people are trying to run away from me or roll away from me when they're low health, I can like finish the person off in a group. Super useful. Um, What do I have on this? Double slash? Oh, sword stance. Yeah. Yeah, Bandit Curve Swords are pretty good. Are they? Uh, I guess they'd be better with like a Dex Bleed, huh? Like I, uh, I'm on Strength, so the Beastman Cleavers actually do more damage. Funniest Invasion I've had. I've had some, I've had some funny ones, man. Ah, none, like, come to mind as the funniest, but there's at least a couple of funny ones to stream. Yeah, we could try Capital again. I love the Capital. Uh, yeah, yeah, there is. You can do this. But I never have this connect. People always roll away from me, so I, I don't bother doing it. <laughs> it's basically the followers saber from DS3, right? <laughs> Which is really funny, but, uh... Ah, uh, yeah, we could try capital. Let's go east capital. <laughs> oh, yeah, the vigor check guy. He's so funny. There we go. The Goku fight? Yeah, he was hilarious. <laughs> it's pretty good. It took me so long to realize that he was actually like modding his character. Until I realized he was shooting energy beams out of his hand and I was like, oh. <laughs> Mini boss. That's funny. Scavenger gets crowned as the best curve sword for bleed. Yeah, you need decks though. Again, I tried it. I tried arcane or bleed infusing them on this build and they do like a hundred less damage than my, my beast man ones because they have terrible uh, strength scaling when bleed infused. So... If you go Dex Arcane, though, there's lots of other weapons you can use. You get the Katanas, you get... There's a lot of them, I would say. Dex Arcane has more. But Strength Arcane, that has this. <laughs> and I guess Mariah Executioner. Not that it's the best or anything, but it's a, it's a good weapon. I'll try it. I'm 137 right now, Andrew. There you go. Uh, yeah, the, the godskin peelers, they'd be for decks. I have the gargoyle ones on this build, though. But yeah, we could try. We could do wield those. They're pretty strong. Yeah, the beastman ones look cool. I think they're probably my favorite dual curve sorts. Probably. Now that you can roll out of Mariah Executioner. Yeah, you can roll out of the Ash of War when you need to, I suppose. So you're not locked in, but... 
crazy? Yes. Hey, dude. <laughs> oh, no. I kind of want to do it, though. Should we walk in and just do it? We just do it to each other, me and you. <laughs> hey. Oh, dude, we can have it. We can do it together. Imagine. It's just, it's just down to luck who wins at that point. <laughs> who will win? The Nahil off. Nahil! Well, I think I'm winning. Because <laughs> he put his away. Foolish choices. Fun fight, Killer Karen. He shouldn't have put the trident away, I don't know. He should not. Nihil. No, he started out with it. What kind of? Why would you put that away when I pull it out? That's so like fun. The potential right there for a Nihil off would have been good. The last minute backstab. Yeah, that's what I would have done if I had to. Uh, using Stitcher over Epi, it has a little bit more damage. Uh, Leonard, even on this build, um, like fifteen more damage. Same move set, so. You know, like, why not use the Stitcher? I guess... What would even be the reasoning, I suppose? Let me look at it. It has one more dex requirement, I guess. That's the only downside. But its damage output tends to be better. I think the great FPA, though, on, like, a certain amount of dexterity will win out because it has higher dexterity scaling than the Stitcher, to my knowledge, on, like, a pure dex build. But strength is better. And it looks cooler. <laughs> it does look cooler. You're not wrong. Thank you. Yo, thank you, Leonardo. And Leandros. Uh, who, wait, do you think there will be an Elden Ring DLC in 2022? In this year? You know, what, when did it release? February? Like near the end of February, right? Uh, I'd say there's a good chance. All the other Souls games DLCs came about six months after the initial release. So this game is bigger. But I'd say there's a chance. Maybe it'll come near Christmas. That'd be like good timing from like a marketing standpoint. Oh. Thank you so much though, man. I think so. I think there's a chance there will be. Uh, MV, uh, the Lanedale giant hunt over the wall kill. Oh, that one was pretty good. <laughs> I'm surprised you remembered that. I didn't remember that until right now. Thank you. The Stitcher is pretty damn good. The noble slender sword and noble What's the other great thrusting one that everyone likes? The, oh, the Bloody Helis. That's right. Drop chance. Bloody Helis is pretty damn good too, though. We gotta we gotta give that some love. And Pino, uh, I'm currently farming for the noble slender sword. Yeah, I feel like they would do... They would lose out on nothing by increasing the drop rate for some weapons. It took like two hours to get the Banished Knight chest piece. And I have 40 arcane on my like arcane build. At like level 80. So yeah, the drop rates are pretty low. And I was using all the objects too. The, the foot, the helmet. Some of the weapons and armors take a while. It's not the funnest. Uh, let's go try Castle Soul. We got some fun ones there last time. Yeah, it's pretty good stat requirement as well. It's like, what, 16, 17? That's not too bad. A a great FPA wins also as a strength build. Does it? At what point does it start out scaling the Stitcher? I feel like for me, it's always been the Stitcher's been better. I don't know how much strength you would need, though. <laughs> Watchdog Greatsword is a myth to me. Someone on stream gave that to me. I invaded them and they had it there. <laughs> That's the only reason I have the Watchdog Greatsword. It was pretty funny. Oh no! <laughs> Go away, Mr. Knight. Yeah, some of the drop rates are a little bit excessively bad. Excessively bad, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, do I think bleed is better than a cult? Um, it depends on the weapon, like I said, uh, Ravenous. There might be some that are better at cult. I still personally prefer bleed, because like most of the damage output you're getting on a build is from the bleed buildup. If you have like the Nagi Natas and you, you know, a cult infuse one of them and have one with Seppuku and the other one with another Ash of War, you know, it, it's definitely a contender because its damage is higher, but I'd say on most weapons I prefer the higher bleed rate. It's not that much of a damage difference, to be honest. Damn. I never get, at least, you know what's weird about this level though? I don't get much in the, the Halig Tree. 
I get more in the... I feel like I'm getting a lot of New Game Plus invasions at 137. So, like, that's why Kaled seems good. And the uh, underground areas. They get some good invasions. Yeah, see? What the heck? Instant at Kaled. Okay. Uh, but yeah, some of the weapons that have the innate bleed, like the natural bleed, Ravenous, they, they would do well uh, with the cult for sure. You cleared them all, Wiko. Damn you. Look what you did. I didn't get a, a Halig tree invasion. True. You got to think of it like that as well, right? That's, that's true. The areas you don't have to go to will have less people to invade it. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, hey, guys. Um, what do you want to try out? Uh, we could try this. Well, I do one. One seppuku is, is sufficient. What's he casting back there? Ah! <laughs> the wizard! <laughs> Leave it to the wizard. These do pretty good. Since they have like... Their, their jump attack is definitely their best move set. But they do pretty wood. Wood. Pretty good. They bleed in like one jump L1. I gotta appreciate that. Oh, he's using the walking one. Oh. That one has a weirder animation than the the earlier one you acquire. Oh. Yo, that used to kill you. I am so happy that no longer will infinite stun you. Thank you. Was that worth it? Was that worth it? <laughs> That's right, Carol. What if I do this to your summon? What's that? Oh, why would you aim? Whoa, what? You're not even. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, they're lagging a bit. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that good old packet loss where you can't even see the cast coming. Okay. Good old packet loss. <laughs> He's rolling through the abyss. Hey, at least I hit him with that. Oh, he tried to do the grab. That's interesting. Sleep swords. Okay, let's just... Elden Ping. Let's go even further. Oh, I'm getting hit by that. Might die. Oh, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> kind of worth it, though, for the meme. Hey there. Ah! Ow. Ow. Want to try some more jump combos. Do your Ash of War. You guys got a lot of magic. They both kind of have a lot of magic, actually. Even the guy with the Ultra. Okay, he's low now, at least. Aya. <laughs> oh god, okay. Well, I think they've... Oh, I didn't have my buff going this whole time? Oh, damn. We could have maybe did more damage. 9,000 FP the build. Oh, they're using Starlight Shards. Oh, okay. Maybe? He dodged that. Wait, no, he crushed something. Oh, did he crush? He did crush a starlight chart. Okay. Oh, that bubble saved him so hard. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Mommy. Didn't learn the first time. Oh, well, I guess I didn't get it the second time. <laughs> Goodbye, Carol. I'll see you later. The wizard build. Everywhere we see those. Oh, at plus 25. Oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I was thinking of my mid-level build where like 40 strength, it still didn't pass it. But yeah. 43 strength uh, plus 17 according to calculator. That makes sense. That's where they trade off. Is that with an infusion on it though? I still feel like the stitch stitcher has always done better. 
I'll have to look. Infinity bleed. Nail. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I have, wait, the clean rod sword, or do you mean the, the spear? Oh, the, yeah, I have it on this build, actually. I haven't really tried the, the clean rod spear, though. That, I haven't given any love to. Um. The Celia Town? Let's go there. Heavy stitches beat. Yeah, but sometimes the scaling isn't everything. Like, the, the flat damage will still lead it to be higher. Kind of like the Watchdog uh, Greatsword here. Uh, it has an S in strength, but it, I don't think it'll get bypassed until you have, like, maybe 80 strength. Even then, I'm pretty sure when I tested on my 69 strength one, the, the Greatsword was still better. But yeah, I haven't actually looked at the EPA compared to the Stitcher side by side, so I don't know. We will get rid of that. <laughs> Bots. Yeah, there's there's a lot of those on YouTube lately. I'm not sure why. The return of the bots. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Noob Slayer V2. I okay, guess this is a viewer. <laughs> I'm scared of Noob Slayer V2 though. Hello there. What would Noob Slayer even use? Hey, hey man. Hey. I don't even know what he would use. Uh, I guess I'll do an ultra with you. Let's try it. He's a strength build. Oh, jeez. Yo, honestly, that was the chattest battle right there between me and him because... We were both just like face trading. I don't think either of us was trying to dodge. Bull goat? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, you're right. You're right. He would use bull goat armor 100%. Lanedale. Oh yeah, the Lanedale army with the tummy. I forgot about that armor set. Radon corner cheese. I heard there's a couple ways you can kill Radon easily now. There's like the one where you climb up on the mountain and he falls off. And then some other one. I've only seen the mountain one. Oh yeah, Zionis. I just jump around. Uh, I never really invade, only one soul level. I've always been like, I try mid and end game and then whatever is like around meta at the time. In all the souls games. To be honest, the fights never change to me. It's more just whatever I'm feeling like that day. It does get more... This this soul level, though... Sorry, not soul level. This level gets a lot of invasions. I have to say, this and uh, 80 are probably my favorite. This seems to get a lot of New Game Plus players, which is awesome, because they're, like, at the beginning of the map, which I don't get to invade ever. Uh, are people still AFK farming in this area? <laughs> I'm gonna guess yes. Probably. Um, okay. Yeah. Oh, I see him! <gasps> I wonder. Can I do this? Will this buff my cannon? It should, right? Oh, you can't shoot through the window? No way! From soft, why? Why would you do this? Why would you do this? No. Wow. So lame. Wow. That actually has glass on it. That's not medieval. <laughs> You can use a bow. I don't really have a bow. I don't have any bow. Why can you not use the cannon, but you can use a bow? That's... That's just sadness. You can use Merica's hammer to get there. What? Oh, like... Fly forward? With the Ash of War? Would it really reach that? 
rocket proof blast. Yeah, apparently. Why not just go up to him and fight him? Because you can't go up the door. They do that on purpose, Love Struck. They sit in there where you need your uh, horse to get into. So when people invade, you leave, they get the souls for like as if a, an invader is leaving. It gives them a certain percent of souls. So Runes, sorry, not souls. Runes, same thing. I'd, I would invade the beginning of Limgrave, like first step, Mike, but there's so many AFK people here. There's That's literally like number, the number one spot. They sit on top of the little church there you, that you walk out of. So like I invade in Limgrave, I just won't invade that direct area. Just nets what we just saw. Hey, it's Among Us. Wait, is Among Us just here? Is it, you just live in here, Among Us? <laughs> Let's do it, man. Hey, a lance. Let's go. Uh, I have a blood lance, but I don't know how interesting of a battle that would be. Cha. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Sleep. Oh, you didn't panic or all that. I got to give that to you. <laughs> I can't tell if he freezes sometimes or... It's just like our connection. I think it's just our connection. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm so surprised that hit you, man. I don't even know what to say. Like, we have the weirdest connection. <laughs> it's tough times for him. I can hit him from like a mile away. <laughs> that was cool. I tried to like challenge it with his. Fun fight, man. Very fun fight. You're in chat, right, man? I wonder where you live. Where do you live? I want to like start to get a feel for like some of the higher ping connections because ours is pretty damn high. So. I'm feeling like somewhere like really far East Europe, maybe, or that was a nice fight though. Very fun fight, man. Um, Middle East. Okay. So that'd be like close to 200 ping to me, I think. That makes sense. That sounds about right. He's coming to get you. No, no. I just want to know if I like the pings. <laughs> Atlantis. Okay. I'm like far east Canada, so that, that makes sense. That's pretty far. Such a gentleman. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I usually have like decent connections, I think, because of where I live. Because I live in like east Canada. I can connect pretty well to like Europe and anywhere like on the west coast. West coast is still fine for the most part. Um... I think if it's just places like Japan or like anywhere across large bodies of water, that'll start to be not the best. Central would be nice. You know what? I feel like there's a lot of American connections in general, so being central might like help out with that. Very useful. Uh, up there, huh? Let's go up there then. Yeah, some viewers. Yeah, Dallas, you especially. Some people that live in like anywhere in like East Canada. It feels like my next door neighbor. <laughs> Niagara, Ontario. Nice, man. I gotta visit that one day. I haven't been there in a long time. Um, I think the warp worked badly there. What the hell? How do you sort weapons to where you want them? Uh, you just need to click L3 and then you look here. You choose how you want to sort your weapon. Ah, I actually don't know. I haven't fought a lot of viewers that live in Italy. Not that they've told me. I'd love to visit Italy, though. Damn. I'd actually like to go somewhere in Europe. It's like a next vacation. Oh, they're way, they're way down there. Oh, God. That's a terrible spawn point. Unfortunate. Where's the spiked shield? I wonder how well that works, Frank. I'm not sure. I've never tried it. Thank you. Yo, where is the spiked shield? Yeah, Italy is very crash? pretty. Where I live, not the best scenery. 
I live in like like not downtown, but I live in like the capital city. You know what I mean? So <laughs> it's a lot of city, not a lot of scenery. This is my last hope. I don't think I can get down there without warping. I don't think I can. Too bad warps. I only get bad warps. I swear, they never bring me near where they are. I think they don't, they just don't take into consideration the like vertical height. There we go. I would have been doomed if not. I couldn't come down here, I'm pretty sure. Hello there, wizards. You did. I was like, where's my music? Does anybody feel weird when they don't have the music anymore in the invasion? I I always find it not very, it's very quiet now. The finger works probably one out of 10 times. Yeah, for me it's like one out of like, I don't even know. Hey wizard, I'm getting hit by that, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you need to drink your wizard juice. I love how even when his wizard juice is gone, he still has a sword that does high damage. Jesus. My god, that does so much damage. I wanted to go for the double kill. Ah, the frostbite on the sword, yes. Chase me, Ultraman. I want to see the bleed rate of that. Did the rock hit me there? I guess it did, huh? There we go. The rock did hit me. That sounds funny. The rock beat me up. Uh, it depends. I don't know where I want to vacation the most, but... I'd like to... Yeah, Europe sounds like a great time, honestly. Whoop. From Scotland? Yeah, that would be cool, too. I don't really know anybody who's visited or lived in Scotland. Ooh. I'm stuck on all the rocks here. That's something I've noticed. Oh god, the frame rate. Why? <laughs> there we go. He's dead. GG. Alright, now Zomo Gaming, me and you, homie. Me and you. Poke. Fun fight, man. The slow mo poke. I know, I feel like when you run through some of the areas, you hit some like frame loss spots. I don't know. It's weird. The frame rate took hit stun from the bleed. Yeah. <laughs> My own bleed got me frame loss. That was funny. It's going good though, man. It's going good. That was an interesting invasion. Wizard using a sword seal? Possibly. He did take a lot of damage from that poke. Does the ult... It depends on what they're wearing, I think. Uh, but I've seen it bleed in two hits, yeah. I have, I have. Yeah, some Colossals have an R2. Like, this Vihander at least has a useful R2. This one's not the most useful. I wish it had, like, the Thrust one. Um, but the, po the Poke can combo into your Ash of War for the Ultra, so at least it has something. You know, Dark Souls 3 Ultras, they didn't really have much at all. <laughs> Equip Frame Loss. Wait, do I have the right ring on? I do, yeah. Okay. I like this area a lot. Ooh. Oh yeah, this area too, we talked about this last stream. For some reason when you walk through the middle of the lake there, you get frame loss. Hey, nice Aaron. How's Scotland this time of year, man? Our weather's getting a bit better where I live. It's almost summer. Wizard! Wall. Aya. That almost hit me through the wall. Hang on, boys. Hang on. I'm not even prepared for war yet. You came in here guns a-blazing. Relax. Relax. Okay, you better back up. <laughs> you don't want to die to the bleed rush. It will hit you. Oh, wizard. 
I forgot they had a wizard on the team. Hello. Honestly, rooftops are great for... Oh god, Jesus. That moon veil does night and day damage. It's crazy. Oh, it's also our connection. Okay. I'm getting hit by the whip from far away. We kind of burn most of our heals, so we're going to have to sweat this one. You guys were aggressive right from the get-go. I'll give you that. But I don't like Stars of Ruin in my butt every two seconds. Yeah, Scotland looks so nice. Is it weird that I still picture like it having so many castle locations to this day? <laughs> Even though I bet you, like obviously, there's areas that don't, but... Yo, heal! Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. You have to try shield crash on the occult infused spike shield. Hello there. The best trade weapon. I ran down melee near river. Love you, Chase. Keep invading. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Moon in my face every two seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The moon veil wizard. We can get some regen going here. Actually, if that guy follows me, we can just kill him. Oh, no, he's not going to follow me without his teammate. Wait, why am I glowing? Blue? There is something happening here. I am glowing the blue. Ever thought about a dragon communion PvP build? Uh, yeah, I do want to try dragons out eventually. I haven't used any dragon spells or miracles, really. Jesus, moon fail. GG though. <laughs> I don't even know what stunned me, but good fight, boys. Uh, but yeah, to do a dragon build, can I do straight arcane or do I need some faith? Oh, magic defense down from the moon. Even if you roll it? Okay. So it's kind of got like a lingering hitbox then. <laughs> that did like almost all my health in one moon veil. <laughs> this game's damage sometimes. But yeah, I don't know what hit me. Did the Phantom hit me with the uh, the great thrusting weapon from like a mile away? Oh, the Healus hit me from... Okay. Wow. That guy wasn't anywhere near me. But yeah, connections be like that sometimes. Maybe the capital? Yeah, the capital I, I would like to get some more invasions in, but sometimes I don't get many at level whatever we're at right now, 137. He hit me with the thrust, but he didn't hit me. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. But, like, somehow the thrust hit me. That makes sense. Um? I feel like I fought the Great Jar before. Yeah, it c but, like, so do the Dragon Spells scale more off Faith or Arcane naturally? I know you can use the Dragon Communion Seal to make it uh, scale off Arcane more. But I wonder what would be more optimal for it. Um, wait. Oh, are they up? Are they in the boss fight? <laughs> yeah, they're in the boss fight. <laughs> Unfortunate. The runes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot. I don't have my horse bound anymore because I want my little light here. They scale more off arcane. Oh, okay. That's useful then. I guess I see why a lot of people are running bleed and have the dragon spell as well. It's just, wow, it eats up your FP. Like, they must heavily invest in their FP. <laughs> like, damn. I don't know. That's, that's a pretty crazy amount. Always travel. Yeah, I guess some vacation areas like that are better off season. Oh, teleportation. Wait, so so how are we pronouncing Placidusax? Is that is that what we're doing? Is it Placidusax? Placidusax? <laughs> that that boss name is something interesting to me. We have a little mind, ye. Placidusax, yeah. <laughs> That's I guess what everybody's been saying. Okay. Makes sense. Hello there, Zekin. 
Why is my frame rate being so weird today? All right. Zakane. Hello, Zakane. Let's do it. Do you have a phantom or? Oh, you're summoning a phantom. Okay. Let's do something interesting. I'm gonna do this. Keep my buff and see how powerful we can make this become. 872, okay. Hwa. Hwa. <laughs> Whoa! Is that a blue <laughs> with a cannon? No! <laughs> Not a cannon blue. <laughs> Actually, honestly, I don't mind the cannon blue. That's totally fine. Ah, uh, I would have went for the backstab. What? No! What have you done, Zakane? No! Um, okay, you know what? I wanted to try something. This with the lance actually guard breaks instantly, so... Let's see if that works. It doesn't seem to. The lance actually has great guard break with the Royal Knight Resolve, so I wanted to see if I could use like a chip weapon through it. Ah, uh, that's almost a backstab. Ah, uh, our connection's too late. Okay. Um, okay. We do this one. Kya! Kya! There's another red coming, careful. Silly Billy. He's gonna poke you, maybe? I don't know. I know, I feel bad for the blues, man. Like, just, just do an invasion. You guys don't need a 1v1 all the time. I get I get you want to fight me. I get it, I get it. I totally get it. But like, also, the poor blues. You know what I mean? I feel you though. I agree. It can be rough. A great sword. <laughs> the lightning. Honestly, I kind of like the lightning. Hmm. Perfume. <laughs> I was gonna say, what's with our connections lately? They're very latent. Yeah. There you go. Fun fight, man. It's actually really hard to roll catch and attack a great shield when there's like a certain amount of ping. I feel like I can't get the guard break on it with the ice. Fun fight though. Plasty the doer of <laughs> Okay, buddy. Okay. I know, Jitty. I've seen, man. It's unfortunate. It's also why I like move locations every time. There's always some solo dude just sitting by the grace point. After I invade somewhere once. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I guess with the heavy attack. So, like, the scythe has worked for me. The great lance has worked for me. You say the stitcher can work as well? I'm guessing with the jump heavy then, right? Not the jump light attack. That would make sense. I do have it on the Stitcher as well. I was trying that out. Had my friend holding up a great shield. I was like, hmm. What ways can we do more stamina damage? Uh, does the Seppuku buff? Well, it's not really the Seppuku buff. It's, uh... Oh, hello. Hello, boys. It's just a buff for my body buff because I had bleed proc go off. Hello. 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 But why, Mr. Red? Why have you betrayed me? Really? The one time we can finally have a cool 2v1? 2v2? And you're gonna... Okay. All right. Yeah, you get the cancer then. Just because I'm dealing with it. <laughs> Dishonest. Red, we're meant to be teammates, you fool. You are my teammate. Look what you've done. <laughs> Betrayed me. I don't even want... You know, I do want to kill you. Because I want a regular teammate. Whoop. 
right through both of you. Okay, uh, GG. Uh, <laughs> Alright. <laughs> People that summon reds, man. But why? But why? Unfortunate. I don't even know if it's a summoned red or like there was a teammate invader. I don't know. Yeah, Pebble can be very strong. The Placidu Sacks. <laughs> yeah, when I first said it, I said Placidus Placida Sacks. <laughs> Placidu Sacks. Oh, it's them again. Oh, easy. All right, let's go. Now the red's dead. Now what are you guys going to do? I'm coming back, boys. With your dishonest red. Hello. Hey, come back. Come here, Rivers of Blood. My metal lord user. There you go. Be aggressive. Is that a poison one? At least I know now he has the pebble on that, so... That's fine. Last time I didn't get my heal from my flask either. So. Oh, Wiko! Let's go, bro. There, now we can get a proper 2v1. I mean, 2v2. I see, I see. That's actually not strong on its own, but... They only know the way of the 2v1. <laughs> they play well as a team, I guess. I gotta give them that, but... If we can isolate them, we can kill them quick. <laughs> I like how they're just ignoring Wiko completely. Yes, yes, separate them. Separate them, and I will aggress this one. Switching up again. Okay. That does so good job, Wiko. Good job with the pebble, man. Good job. <laughs> yeah, pebble does stupid damage. Holy. It's crazy. <laughs> it does stupid damage. I guess the higher level you go, the more the pebble can do, huh? I think it can one-shot. <laughs> Good job, boys. <laughs> Good job. It definitely can one-shot. Good shit. Good shit, good shit. Yeah, the pebble, like, the higher level you go, it could one-shot you. It's pretty crazy. You one shot with it all the time, yeah. There's too much like abuse of one shots in this game, honestly. That's the only thing holding it back. I talk about the damage output quite a lot. And that was a fun fight though, yeah. On int pebble hits super hard, yeah. There's a lot of like one damaging combo things that need to be nerfed. Especially since the pebble stuns. Like it's not so bad at level 80. I don't think I've ever like one shot a high health phantom at level 80. Uh but yeah, the higher level you go, the more damage it can do. Hey, we won that invasion. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> that was perfect teamwork. Perfect teamwork, we go. But there's a lot of things that just need to be toned down. And then the PvP can get better. To at least reach what like Dark Souls 3 was. I, In my opinion. Hello there, Javam. What's up, man? Pebble is the vigor check? No, man, I have like, well, I guess, but it's like, you could throw it on any build. That's the thing. That, um. <laughs> Sorry, the rune's fun. Hey, you know what? We could try to do this with the wizard. Come behind here. I'll lead you back here. Ah, uh, you almost rolled into it. I just wanted to see if we could actually get a hit through the wall. Moonveil will always be strong. Alone, it's not too bad, though. But, like... Oh, these are the two guys from earlier. Oh. 
Oh, with the rivers of blood and the moon veil. Together, they're very strong. Did you see that someone figured out a way to get into the Kaylee Tower as an invader? Hmm, what do I have also that can do burst damage quickly from behind? As an as well. The wizard? Yeah. Thank you so much, MR Mark. No, I haven't actually seen that, man. I have not. Can't you go in Kayla Tower anyways as an invader? Pretty sure you can. You can invade in the tower anyway. They're so confident in their like numbers, man. <laughs> They just literally look at this. Look at the moon veil use, man. It's literally just spam it. <laughs> it'll it'll punish an Estus, the stun on it's long enough. There we go. It's not so bad alone though, like obviously. It's when they're in a team together that it's oppressive. When he's alone, he's just gonna definitely run away from me. Good fight, Javen. What the hell? Fuck. Is that a blue? <laughs> Goodbye, boys. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so brave until one dies. Yeah. That seems to be the case with Elden Ring. Honestly, fighting 2v1s in this game is definitely harder than Dark Souls 3 because of the way stuns and damage output work. If you have a game that you do ridiculous loads of damage on, when you're fighting outnumbered, there's just way more chances for you to die. And like get one shot. The <laughs> brave though. They are brave together. Oh, you mean the AFK tower. Oh, when you were talking about the Kaled Tower, I thought you meant this, the Divine Tower. Oh. I haven't seen a way into Len yeah, Lena's Rise. Yeah, no, I haven't seen a way into there. Stat check? Yeah, there you go, man. There you are. Yeah, wait, that guy, though. Was he a blue, or was he one of the teammates? Oh, you have to use a swap glitch. That's so weird. Does it make you run differently? But yeah, I have no idea where that third guy came from. Maybe he just lies in wait. <laughs> That's the only thing I could think of. Hmm, what is it actually called? Yeah, Lena's Rise, yeah. That's where people do like the AFK farming. Hmm. Let's go back to Nox Stella. Strength Arcane. It's actually been working really well, honestly. Although Bleed is just super strong in general, so that's why it's working well. <laughs> but. Yeah. I've seen that weird zip glitch, but like, don't you need to change the resolution of your game? So you'd have to be <laughs> PvPing in like the worst, oh my god, <laughs> uh, resolution possible. That'd be like the third time we fought Among Us today. Boys, I, I appreciate the viewer stream snipes, but I really, I really need team battles. <laughs> I don't do anything with the 1v1 view videos. I need some good team invasions here. <laughs> like, too many people following me with the Tantra Stung right now. Uh, it's easier with the low resolution, you don't need it. I see, I see. Okay, I could try Lane Delph for you guys. Um, I don't know. I don't get much on in lane Dell. Not at this level. I do check it. I, I really don't think these account for your level, though. Uh, this character is level 137, actually, right now. So I, I don't know what areas are the most popular. I've tried Castle Soul. I keep getting not much. I've tried some of the mountaintops. What about here? Inner Consecrated Snowfield? 
Try that. Or the... Uh... Actually, you know what? I want to try Halig Trigger really quick. I didn't get one earlier, but I might get one now. I can hope. Yeah. I'll try Halig Tree. Let's see. Yeah, I always try Prayer Room. People tell me this is a good one, but... uh, Let's see. Okay. Walking outside the door helped. I don't know why, but it did. Farm spot? Is this a farm spot? <laughs> I don't know. There we go. There we go. Some Hallig tree. This is actually a really cool area. I need to learn it. That's for sure. Like if I see them up there, they're probably by the spawn. Yeah. Yeah, this area gets so intricate. You can like cross over there. Sometimes depending on like where the host is, I get a little confused. I'm not going to lie, but... Oh, I always forget of Faramazula. I always forget about that. That should be popular at this level too. Yeah, this area is... I guess it's kind of... I, I see I see though where you would feel like it's like Pontiff because of the side railing area. Hello there! Wait. Okay. Hello, boys. <laughs> How many of you are hiding here? A flail? A flail? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. That's better. I was gonna say, a flail's not really... Man, if someone can make a flail work, I'd love to see the build they use. So they're a bit on the ridiculous side. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Fun fight, though. Yeah, I don't know. Flails just don't do it for me. At least I've tried a few. Um, what about an axes as well? Axes tend to not be the best. In my experience, I try, though. You know what? As hard as Mogwin is sometimes, depending on like how many people are using FP there. I like this area. Yeah, like, I don't know how much poise damage they do. I think it's a little bit higher than most weapons. Right? Like 60, 55, 60. No one likes flails. I haven't seen one that someone's been using other than that guy. That is the first guy I've seen use a flail. Maybe if he was doing like a cosplay, I could see it. Uh, well, honestly, uh, Julius, there's not a lot of quality, like, weapons, to be honest. I've tried, like, the quality scaling Ashes of War, just to quality infuse my weapon, and they do worse than strength or dex, so... I honestly don't think quality builds are, like, a huge thing in Elden Ring. From all my tests, anyway. There's some, like, some strictly quality weapons. There's only a few, though. Family heads. Oh, yeah, I forget that's a thing. <laughs> Get that in the cave. Yo, long term. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Try a short bow. Yeah, I haven't done like any bow invasions. I gotta like look at all the weapons that are in Elden Ring one day. La la. Quality is for level 200 plus. Yeah, I could see that. That's like the only way I could see it. New fan of your content. Level 125 or 150. Trying to settle on a meta for all my characters. Smile. <laughs> Thank you, man. Long term. I appreciate that, dude. Long term effects. New fan of your content. Level 125 or 150. Um, Like 125 definitely has more balance to it. In a game that has super high damage already, I'd prefer that be a popular level, but you know, you have to go into the consideration that people are going to be higher level beating the game, which I talked about a lot. So I see why people love 125 for duels, but also the average player is going to beat the game and end it at like level 130, 140. So that's why I'm 137. Well, you can go to 138 and it lets you invade down to 125. So you get the best of both worlds. That's like my fair in between. 
I feel fair doing that. Ooh, a pure caster. Hello, Nate. Catch flame. <laughs> okay, that actually stunned me out of the heal. Unfortunate. <laughs> the heal. I want to try it more, but the flame will stun me out of it, so. Can't tell if he has some regen or not. La, la, la. All right, I took the long range out then. <laughs> yeah. Man, dragon breath, man. I am just not a fan of the dragon breath. That's something like it can do high damage if it hits you, but it's not the best, right? Tried to roll catch that. Oh my god. Wait, no, I've been hitting him with some like slight build like build ups, right? So that didn't bleed him in one hit. That'd be a bit aggressive. Catch flame can be nasty though. It can combo into other spells, so. That's what you really have to watch out for. <laughs> like that. There's just so many AoEs. I'm a sword guy, you know? Sword is my game. Fun fight, man. 1100! Damn. The more I invade there, the more I hear that. Um, I'll try. I do want more Mogwin though. If you get hit by the Dragon Claw, yeah, the Dragon Claw startup is very slow. I think the only time I might have got hit by it is when there was like a group of three, kind of like aggressing. Sure. There, I kind of want to, yeah, I want to try out the... Hello, Zacane. <laughs> Jeez, okay. I think all my invasions consist of viewers today. Alright, I'll accept it. Let's go, Zacane. Actually, you know what? I'll go play more with you. Let's do this. Great sword. <laughs> the old days of that being a glitch you would see quite often. With the with the shield. Okay. okay. At least we get the blood build up on this. Shield poke. We can't even backstab that. That's depressing. Cypher Pita. That's right, we both accepted the shield meta here. That is not at all what I want. It's gotta be close to bleeding. There we go. <laughs> Fun fights again. Yeah, the backstabs, man, they are, they are an issue. Sometimes you don't even want it, and it gives you the grab, and you're like, shit. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> and you can actually backstab the backstab grab. It's pretty funny. In vague Halig Tree with the rejection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like force. That could be fun. Hey, welcome, Cameron. 
Welcome, welcome, man. The running guard too is pretty good. It's, it's one of the better roll catches for sure. Yeah, I want shield pokes to be nerfed as well. They did lower. At least you can't have like infinite, uh, what's it called? Stamina now, which is great. So good, dude. Oh, nope. Hmm, I guess this isn't a popular area, man. That's unfortunate. I'll go back to Caleb. Yeah, sometimes you can actually bait a backstab like that. Like, you let someone go behind you, then you just run around. And in this, it's almost like a guaranteed you'll get a backstab because the grab is so slow. Uh, it is, it is very interesting. Hmm. Uggs, crouch spears, yeah, pokes are definitely dominant in this in general. I mean, it's because we don't get true combos and hyper armor doesn't work that well. So we don't get to do the follow-up with, like, the hyper armor weapons. That used to be their strong point, right? You'd trade... You'd get two hits instead of the one because you trade it with the first one and you get the follow-up. So like Greatsword's got nerfed heavily. Now like their R2 is their best thing. Thank you. And then Ashes of War are your main damage output. So I I do believe DS3 had more in-depth combat by quite a bit, yeah. Can they keep updating Elden Ring? Yeah, I think so. I think they can make it better if they keep working on it. I think the true combos were important though. I preferred true combos to like the uh the high damage one hits. Oh yeah, for Amazula. Let's go try there. Uh, it was just better overall. Try it. Where do we go? Dragon Temple Altar? Yo, Zar, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Oh, we can go this way. Yeah, it, it but it you could still kind of get stun comboed with teammates, Matt. Yeah, the bonus to Dark Souls 3 was the, the I don't know, the combos were good. The the damage balance was pretty damn good. Uh, uh 75 and 80 are the most popular so far. Yeah, I agree. I think 70 to 80 I net the most invasions. Oh god, Ollie. Ollie got combo. These things are strong. <laughs> These things are very strong. got the halo sight. Hey man, welcome. Wow, mine actually did more damage. <laughs> Just art running. Okay. Oh yeah, I can't heal because of the stupid sight. <laughs> That's funny. Hey man. <laughs> oh jeez. Bam. That damn, oh right through the wall. Oh, it didn't hit him. <laughs> okay. This area could be a definitely interesting battle zone. Oh, is that a, is that a boss? Hey. Carry this. Oh my god, the blood though. <laughs> it did so much damage. Oh, jeez. That's quite a lot of damage. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. The Great Sword got a nerf? Well, yeah, so like the, the bonus to like great class weapons and ultras in Dark Souls 3 anyway was that you had hyper armor, right? And you were able to stun trade. So let's say someone hit you with a lighter weapon that was faster and you traded into it. Uh, now you get a follow-up swing, which is where the, the damage output would come from for some of the slower weapons. That was kind of like the bonus. In Dark Souls, in this, at least they have like the crouch poke that carries ultras. That's why you see people use it so much. But great swords, like we, they really only have their R two, in my opinion. That's so strong. Uh, you won't trade well with an R one because you don't get a follow up anymore. So they can roll out of it. Uh, yeah, they were hard and mad for sure. I definitely think the crouch poke increased the the skill. Well, not the skill. Sorry, the power of an ultra by quite a lot.
Yeah, everything else kind of got like a gift. A great, great swords didn't get anything. <laughs> uh, and because your poise gets halved when you swing an, uh, uh, an ultra type weapon like a claymore or like a, a colossal, it halves your poise and then adds like a flat 30 poise. So you actually like, the more poise you stack, the less you actually get out of a great sword in a way. Chase is using rivers of blood. Not right now, no. <laughs> I'm not at the moment. Yeah, like, crouch poke is just... Otherwise, though, like, yeah, you're not using an ultra. Like, the crouch poke is kind of carrying it. I don't think I've been hit by one standard, like, R1 of an ultra. But the poke helps it a lot. It, it feels super strong, but, like, without it, this weapon class is destroyed. So, I don't know. It's... That's a tough one to balance. Because <laughs> they did not do the best in Dark Souls 3, either. They were kind of always, like, shunned over. At least in this, they're getting some love with the poke attack. Hello, boys. Barbarian soup. Hello. Man, axes. That's another weapon class that got done dirty. Axes got done so dirty. I want him to attack so I can get away. There we go. And without true combos, it's actually hard to be pretty oppressive against a two-man team. Like, you can sort of roll... Nah, even there, I didn't roll catch. You see that? Like, the roll catch is pretty difficult. With the R1. It's definitely a lot harder than it used to be. Whereas, like, now you have ultras that actually come out quickly. They do obscene amounts of damage. You get good roll catch. Like, and this ultras are actually better than great swords. By quite a bit, <laughs> I, might, I might add. Love my bay more. Always will, but... It's just worse than Ultras overall. Wow, I landed an R1. That's unheard of! <laughs> Wah. The Wolverine, but he's, but he's secretly Melania. Blade of Mikola. I got my nose itches. That dude went flying. Yeah, if you jump it when you get poked, uh, you get some flying. It's pretty funny. Um, is that a poise drink he just drank? He drank something. Nihil! <laughs> I've kind of separated them. Okay. Oh, I didn't even know he was behind me. <laughs> I had no idea. He was just following me behind the camera. That's funny. Oh, if I had up there, they probably would have killed him. This guy has a lot of absorption. I mean, I know rune arcs are a thing, for sure. I think I'm gonna target the phantom. That's why he's been running away from me. Hey, yo, DK, thank you so much, man. I haven't really used the gargoyles halberd at all. Been loving this thing though. This thing's been great. <laughs> He's actually getting chipped down slowly. There we go. Now it won't be so bad. Now we just got barbaric soup here. Oh, he actually would have got killed from that, but the frostbite stunned me. Uh, fun fight, Barbarian Soup. I appreciate the axe use. I appreciate it. Yo, DKT though, I will try it out. Any recommendations for it? I'm guessing strength build, right? But I'm not sure entirely. Hey, thank you, Alexander. I appreciate it, man. Let's go back here. Yeah, I wish I got that backstab. Phoenix, that would have been so cool.
80 vigor maybe oh yeah you could be like a full vigor build and then use that is it morgoth's rune arc that uh gives you such a substantial health boost as a host yeah yeah um the lance is pretty good i can i could try it out on the blood here I have 45 Arcane, Jonathan. Morgoth's adds 25%. Ah, okay. Oh, right. Wait. Oh, okay. You know, we haven't had a connection error today. Anybody else notice that? Pretty good connections all around today. Well, that guy went into the boss. Let's do a few more Dynasty ones. I have it on the Watchdog uh, uh, Greatsword, and I did get a kill with it earlier. <laughs> so, hey, Lion's Claw is not half bad. It's not too bad. Okay, move that out of the way. Wait. Oh, no. Hang on a second. There we go. Chase D's nuts. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Chase yo mama. <laughs> Honestly, I'm impressed with how quick you guys get to where I'm standing. Uh, it's pretty impressive. <laughs> oh my god. Where, what are we doing? What are we doing here? Bah. I don't have that Ash of War, I'd do it with you. <laughs> Alright, Red, we can have a team invasion. Can you try add the Spike Palisade Shield Blood infused with Shield Crash before end of stream? I Thanks. don't have it, Frank. Or, or, and I don't have it upgraded either. So I will try to get that for you for next stream if you're down for that. Just remind me. <laughs> oh my god, that's actually amazing. I ran out of max upgrade stones as well. Actually, there's still some weapons I don't have a max upgraded that I want to. <laughs> Bap! Bap! Oh man, that bleeds in two hits. That's pretty good. Oh, oh wait, that's not an Ash of War. Ah! That scared the shit. Wait. I'm confused. This invasion is so confusing. I thought he goat rolled into that and then did the next Ash of War. But I think I got hit by uh, my teammate's poke. Fun fight though, man. But Frank, yeah, just remind me near the end of the stream and I'll remember. I'll, I'll write a note for it. <laughs> I do want to try out some shields. Only great shields I have are these two right now. I would use, I mean, I wouldn't use the fingerprint, but like it's the better one. But the, the version that I have right there is like one of the next guard, best guard boosts. So, um, we could try some of the fortified manor. And Matt, thank you, man. I appreciate the membership, dude. I don't know. Did he go roll and then swap to Giant Hunt? It looked like that, but I don't think so. I think he just happened to dodge the red, and then the red hit me. And then he almost hit me with the Giant Hunt. Yeah, I didn't think so. You'd have to be really quick with the roll. or the, I don't know how the stun would work. That would be interesting to try, though. How many rune arcs I have on this character? Uh, 260, I guess, ish. Oh yeah, I've heard of that heal. It's like a weird running issue glitch. I've seen that. Well, I haven't seen it, but I've heard of it. Although I don't really use the rune arcs to be honest, unless I do like a playthrough again. As like a co-op thing, maybe. That'd be kind of cool. I'll use the rune arcs then. It tells you how much is in the box? Yeah. You have to just uh, extend the menu. You never noticed that, Jitty? Really? Yeah. You can always see how many of something you have. Been trying out the Banished Knight Halberd on my build. Uh, just wondering what your thoughts were on its viability. Mm, it's good on a, a lot of builds. 
It's a halberd, so it's got good stun. Um, I use it on most of my builds, to be honest. Yo, Among Us! A cannon off! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> on guard, Among Us! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you can't see me, I'm in the bush! Oh. <laughs> Best battle so far. <laughs> Whoever misses. That was fun. Fun match. <laughs> Basically, whoever fired second. Best first person shooter you've ever seen. Yo, Matt, it is very good though. I would say, I think it's scaling naturally is better on a dex build, right? So, probably use that one on a dexterity build and then use the, the strength scaling halberd. There's a few of them on strength instead. 17th century naval combat, but I'm holding it. <laughs> I wonder how much this would have weighed. Crazy looking arm cannon. Imagine people walking around with this. That'd be kind of interesting. I guess before Mogwin wouldn't be the best, would it? Uh, we could try. Might be funny. Key yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> you might have heard water drinking. Ah, right into the boss. So anyway, I started blasting. Yeah, <laughs> basically what that was. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can evade at whatever level you wish. The just the activity is going to be better at certain levels than others. Oh no! Wait. Wait. Thank you. He's going to be up with Hi, the other. Yeah, Stay not yet. Here. Hope these names weren't too much, buddy. And Yo, thank you so much, man. Come again. I appreciate it, Tom. Uh, oh, are those the chase names, dude. That's hilarious. Ten out of ten invasion with the goat roll. That's actually funny. I love that you can change your name in this as well. So if you make a cosplay or something, you can actually just swap over to it. Ah, I will throw on my handy dandy little light. Oh, we're all bleed builds here, are we? Hello. I have the pitchfork though. Pitchfork is the chattest. Oh no, not if he has rivers. In no, you dare have rivers and... Moonvale. I hate Moonvale. Why is it always gotta be a Moonvale man? It's like, let me do 10,000 damage from 10 miles away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what backstabbed this guy? Something backstabbed him. I see you. I see the play here. It's fork. Moonvale. <laughs> Honestly, I'd rather have him have Rivers of Blood right now. That's like Moonvale's more annoying to me, I swear. Everything else is pretty easy to handle for me. But Moonvale, Moonvale do be snacking. Excessively. Oof. That's okay. I need a bleed pellet. We're gonna equip a bleed pellet right now. Oh shit, you know what I just realized? Right at dead end. I don't think they know that. But, <laughs> look at it just cornered me so hard right there. Alright, we gotta take out our own high bleed weapon. Oh, he did seppuku. Oh, I thought he got backstabbed. You're right. 
Yeah, honestly, Moonvale 1v1 is not a problem, but in a group, because of the range of the R2, and it does like half your HP and it stuns you, it's such a good like gank tool. Yeah, like I don't even mine Moonvale, but I mine Moonvale in like a group. That's when it becomes very difficult. Hey there. buff this up a little bit. This isn't strong enough for the scenario here. I need the ultra. I need some good damage output. <laughs> you silly phantom. <laughs> you need to stay in the back in Moonvale. That's your course. Oh, a bleed and the... Oh, man. Honestly, the ultra with bleed is pretty strong. I think the combo itself, like, poke to giant hunt, that's like 11, 1200, and then if I bleed them in that, which happens a lot, it's crazy. Uh, it helps a decent amount, Kim. It really depends, but uh, your robustness is listed on the side over there. So mine's 318. And then, like, my, my sword has 160 bleed, basically. So you could survive two hits of my thing. But then it also has to go through your flat defense. Uh, and or Sorry, your armor defense. So it would probably take three hits of some of what's close to my robustness to bleed. Maybe maybe the fourth one would proc them. It really depends. Uh, let's go here. Uh, Phoenix, thank you so much, though, man. And dry sandwich. I appreciate that. <laughs> that brother's floating in the air. <laughs> yeah, it looks fancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have your flat defense from your character stats, and then you have the armor defense. Moonvale Rivers of Blood need a buff. Yes, definitely. <laughs> I have both, uh, L. Uh, uh, El Dorito. I have it here. I'll show you. I'll use this one. Hello there, target dummy. Bleed strength, it is funny because there are more bleed weapons on dexterity, obviously, but it works. It, it just is kind of like a stat strength build. Same as like Frostbite, but I think this might hit harder overall because bleed just is so dominant. Oh, this way? Let's go this way. Oh, yeah, it, this is the bright. Hello, target dummy. Hello, man. Does that have good robustness defense, I'm guessing? What are you using? I'll match whatever kind of weapon you're doing. I don't think I have that gesture on this character, but... Uh, uh, I don't even use the gestures. What gesture is that? <laughs> I don't have it! I don't have it, man. I don't have it. I gotta go collect all the gestures. Now you just made me realize I'm missing out on some substance here. Target dummy. Oh, you want me to hit you? All right. Oh. Oh. 541. 13. About 1400 damage so far. 2180, I'll say. Let's say. 3300. 3300 HP. <laughs> I guess that's... Is that max HP? I think that's around... That's the max. It's like 30-something hundred is max. That's like 99 Vigor. You have the Morgoth rune. You have uh, the Life Ring and the Erd Tree. Uh, yeah, that's like legit max HP. That's not That's not like a, a mod player or anything. You can get that much HP. You do need 99 Vigor. You need to wear both health rings. You need... You need to be a host because you need to use the rune arc, so. Yeah, that was full HP with the Margaret rune and the, the high. Yeah, that makes sense. I remember watching a Limit Breaker video on the max HP. I always forget the exact number, but it's like 33, 3400, I think. If you see someone with that kind of HP, that's actually like the legit one. As soon as they cross like the, the later 3000s, like 37 to 4000, you know they're modding. 
Like that one uh, Madara Uchiha boss I fought had like 6k health. <laughs> it's kind of cute. People that are new to the series come in and they're like, how do you know he's cheating? And to be fair, like, how would you know, I guess, unless you've played these games or like looked at what max HP is, but yeah. Can't have 6,000. That's for sure. Um, what about Einzel? Let's try that. Yeah, it's pretty crazy though that you can reach that amount of health, to be honest. That's a lot of health. Yo, dry sandwich. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, that's actually just like fun data to, you know, to know, you know, like highest HP. Low. I don't ever want to know lowest HP, but uh, I'm sure we'll happen upon that one day. <laughs> oh, the, ra the lake of rot. I don't think I want to go there. That doesn't sound like a good time to me. Yo, cheers! Thank you, man. Awesome stream as always. Can't wait for the weapon showcase. Yeah, yeah. So actually, uh, in about a month and a half, I'll be going on like a two-week vacation, and I'm gonna start recording uh, one weapon at a time invasions in my own time, so I can showcase some of the weapons to you guys. Uh, we don't really have an arena yet, so that's how I would normally do it. But uh, I'm gonna start that, so I have videos for the channel when I'm on vacation. Awesome stream as always, Chase. Uh, Can't wait for the weapon Garrus. showcase series to make a comeback. They did a lowest HP, they would. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you, man. Cheers, I appreciate that. And dry sandwich. Lowest HP is like 450. What is, I don't even know what starting HP is. Whoa, okay, here we go. Going in. Shouldn't it be more of an Ash of War showcase? I mean, I, I it's gonna be tough. Yeah, like what Ash of War do I put on the weapon? That's fair, I'll try it, the weapon out maybe with a different Ash of War each invasion. That'd be interesting. Hello there. Oh god, not the moon veil. Why is there so many moon veils out in play today? Right here. Come here, moon veiler. Oh, he was smart. A smart moon veiler. That's my nemesis right there. You don't want one of those. Oh god. One hit off on the moon veiler. You know what? Do I have any ashes of war that... Did, oh, you know what? I don't even need an ash for Hey there. Oh, that was a bad idea. I forgot that has range. <laughs> nice. You know what? It's the automatic reload on the cannon. That's the big issue. If it wasn't for that, it wouldn't be so bad. Double madness. Oh. Come on, blue. You have the health advantage right now. You can come in here. Be brave. Be brave. <laughs> Be brave, Emric. Wait, what's hurting him? Something is hurting him. Taking it one at a time. They smart. They smart. I get, we really need to pull off a Moe win kill, I guess. <laughs> God, the fucking moon veil. Oh, I actually had no choice but to dodge that one guy's attack and then I got hit by the moon veil. This is looking tough. Hang on a second here. Nahil. I love how they're actually like actively long range fighting the zombies. Hey! hey. <laughs> oh, I actually poisoned him with it. Cool. There's a poison pill though. <laughs> Bye, Blue. All right, my my problem's gone now. Now it's nice. It's nice sailing over around here. Get some easy sailing. We just gotta wait for this to end. Oh, that lasts so long. 
Is that normal? <laughs> Is that normal? Okay. In the face! <laughs> so that was... I actually got that pot in his face. Crazy. Come back for the oh god, the R2. <laughs> this is all I'm talking about. I love this game. But there's way too many AoE spells that can just be used constantly. It, it just like halts the fight. Like you're not gonna run in, cause why would you run into that? Ah, hey. <laughs> oh, that stunned me. Unfortunate. Okay, but we can't really trade with that anymore then. <laughs> That's just nice. <laughs> There's way too much AoE though, damn. 80 mind, yeah, maybe. It's also the, the, the FP flasks, I suppose, that can be very powerful and dominating. I have long range too. Yeah, they don't have much HP, which is good, I suppose. I could just go in. Um, they have heals too, yeah. I see that. Okay, you know what? Mogwin Spear might not be it. I'm just going to do Ultra. Oh, I wanted him to continue and try to trade into it. <laughs> um, okay. I have one play. Oh, you're so lucky that didn't bury you. <laughs> oh, man. The bleed buildup is gnarly. Oh, I didn't think that hit me. This guy, a kind of easy target. Him, not so much. <laughs> Jesus, that range with the spell. Oh, I might be dead here. Jeez, man. The AoEs. They're killer. They're actually killer. He has so many of them too. All right. You poke, I poke. It's fair. All's fair in love and poke. Oh, and a blue. Okay. Jeez. Regen. <laughs> a moon veil blue. <laughs> That's good. That's good team. I don't know what that does, but I'm leaving. Too many AOEs, dude. <laughs> oh, man. I think one followed me? No. Okay, the blue went ahead. Nice. We can kill the blue. Wow! Why you send the blue home, dude? Wow, they didn't want me to get Estus from them. They would be camping like that. That's funny. Summon, summon. 
Summon corner cucking. Damn, he has enough poise to tank that, huh? He would roll the bleed. FP can be used so powerfully, something I've noticed. Like, if you just kind of like chill in the back and infinitely use starlight shards. For some reason, I always get really campy invasions here. Do you guys notice that? Like, they just like camp. Always here. But at least I can get health back. This guy's like chilling around the corner while his teammate's doing something. Like, how do you just sit there like that? Oh my god. This is the place where I have like 10 minute invasions where they just run away. That's some bleed proc right there. I'll take that. You emote all you want. The danger is I can't get into like an open corridor where the guy with the fireball can just unleash hell constantly on me. That becomes a problem. Yo, Tobu, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. AOE camping. <laughs> I see him in the bush. I see you. I don't know what he's doing. You think he's no he's not out of FP. This man has all the FP. His whole build is FP. <laughs> Are we opposed to sword fights for some reason? I get so many people. Also, Tobu, thank you so much, man. I get so many people that just love not having a sword fight. I don't know why. They love it, though. It's the 99, like, FP yank. They always have it. Yeah, if I had lightning, we'd be chilling. I don't think I have any long range Ash of War. I have my cannon, I guess. That's really it. That's all I have. Now they have the Madness Snipe, so I can't do that. Um, Alright. This is how we do it. I have to avoid their fireballs, though, so... One can hope, but I doubt it. <laughs> Are they actually participating in sword fights now? They realize that in the long run helps me out, I suppose. the blue spawn though behind me or in front of me there he is the blue the blue is also like why aren't we approaching <laughs> Oh, well, I'm getting health back. I don't care. <laughs> I'm fine with this outcome currently. Blue, I will fight you, but they're going to stay on you, so I got to be careful. Yeah, 2v4s would be beautiful. They really would. I would love that. 
Because the second it's 3v1, they can kind of just run you down. <laughs> no, I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm not. I thought the blue might be a little bit... Wow, that range. How did that possibly hit me? Wow. <laughs> that was nowhere near me. <laughs> they would send him home. They're so cowardly, it's mind blowing. How do you miss? I didn't even see you. And you're using starlight shards. All right then. Guess I'm down for starlight shards. It's gonna be one of these, huh? Another one of these invasions. You're stuck on a tree, buddy. It's okay. Your teammate must be out of FP or something. Wow, you guys are garbage, dude. <laughs> Why do people do this? Why do you gank so hard and not want to fight? I don't understand. Like, why not just participate in the combat? I don't understand. <laughs> you camp, you use FP spells the whole fight, and then you use your 10 duped fucking starlight shards to make the invasion last 40 minutes for no reason. Like, why? Why, man? Why? It's why. <laughs> They really need to make those not work in invasions, man. They need to disable the starlight shards. Because this game is too FP reliant already, and then you have a way to get free FP back constantly. It's, it needs to go. <laughs> uh, I seen that glaring flaw like day one when I found that item, I was like, no. No. <laughs> they need to they need to go. It, it's a it's a big issue. Yeah, you shouldn't be able to trade them. 100%. Or they should just be disabled in online play. That would be fine as well. I don't care if people trade them, but like the the amount you can like camp and just use AoEs for like 30 minutes when you have those things is ridiculous. It'd be fine if you could, like, I don't care, like, people can trade and do whatever they want in PvE, but yeah, man, in PvP, that will get ridiculous. No, it's, it's very OP, man. You, you can just sit there as a team. Imagine, let me just give you this scenario. Imagine three wizards <laughs> just sitting in an open area waiting for invaders, just using starlight shards and only casting stars of rune. Like you like, and they can just get their their FP back. But yeah, F FP cost needs. Like we're not trying to complain. We're trying to like balance this game. This game is like our favorite series. Okay, all the Souls content creators you see that complain, they're trying to make it so it's very balanced for everybody. Because it's going to be just as annoying for you if you invade and encounter that. You're gonna, it's gonna be terrible. <laughs> they need to increase FP costs on most things. Hello there, Taki. But, like, there's so many things that can be abused. Oh. <laughs> Jump! Smack! Giant punch! Oh, I thought that might combo. Jump! Oh my god, dude, this poor guy. That does so much damage. Bleed is so strong on some things. I was a little late on that. This is actually a really good raw catch. Oh, he bled. This is a vicious chain we got going on here. <laughs> You're kind of healthy now, man. You can do something. Ah, uh, how I wish that worked. Fun fight, Taki. Fun fight. Very fun, very fun. Uh, yeah, well, it's not that Starlight Shards aren't making invasions necessarily harder. They're just, you, you're not supposed to have a, an infinite amount of Starlight Shards, that's all. 
and people are going to dupe them because people always do that in ds3 it's whatever but uh in this game like having 10 like refills of fp with such large uh aoe spells is not good honestly in dark souls 3 i couldn't have really cared that much about a lot of fp but in this game like you kind of have to outweigh an aoe you can't punish it for the most part so if they have infinite fp <laughs> They they can just sit there as a team infinitely, and then they get refilled and they kill a red. Like, I, I think the starlight shards were a bad idea. That's just personal opinion, but you're welcome to enjoy them if you like them. People will complain though, hundred uh, percent. You definitely can, Timbo. Yes, one hundred percent. It basically refills my FP bar. That's for sure. I don't know if it's like a percent based. Yeah, like even when you dodge properly with like Stars of Ruin, let's say, it still chips you. So imagine they can just do that infinitely, you're going to die. Because like they can chip you infinitely. Especially in like a team. Yeah, there's, there's about 15 shards in a playthrough total. Yeah, you get all of them from Ronnie's area. Yeah, it's like, but the, the spells weren't that bad in Dark Souls 3. Like this is a lot more oppressive magic. 120 flat per shard, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 69 for a shard. Actually, how much FP do I have? I have 78. Not so bad. Well, yeah, I know. I know they will draw out invasions. I'm just saying it's my opinion that that's bad for the game. Some other people might find that enjoyable. I think it, it like it'll 100% draw out invasions. That's not an opinion. You can witness any invasion that has them used. They take much longer. Uh, I'm just saying that, like, hey, I guess some people might enjoy that. Not me, though. <laughs> I think for the game's, like, longevity, it's not very good. Yeah, well, there were some strong ones in Dark Souls 3. You know, Homing Soul Mass was pretty good in 1v1s. And then you had, uh, let me think. Farron, Farron Dart was good for chips. Like, a lot of them were decent in duels, I guess. But in an invasion, it was, like, Crystal Soul Spear that just chunked you, yeah. Last time I invaded here, I had someone hiding in the grass. Uh, you can you can actually do the parry with the Urge to your Great Shield against Stars of Ruin, uh, but they can dodge it. Like it's not guaranteed, and you take damage doing it. So I, it's not the best unless they're just like spam casting at you and not paying attention. Yeah, yeah, I know. The high FP is ridiculous, man. I agree with you, George. I feel like you're arguing here, but I agree. I think I would like FP to be nerfed entirely. But I guess I also like swordplay, right? But yeah, too, like there's a way to heal with FP. You have regen, you have heals. So when you like increase the amount of FP you can get constantly, like refill it, you technically can also refill your health, right? So... That's why I don't think they're also that good for the invasions, or online in general. Hello there, Hot Charles. Let's try something I haven't really used. I've been using this a bit. What weapon have we not used too much today, boys? Um, we could try the scythes. Let's try the double scythes. Hot Charles, face my double attack. Wait, what's that? Oh. <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> Rui Rana, did you run around? Oh, well, there goes Hot Charles. Well, Hot Charles is living, but narrowly. I did a lot of damage, actually. Jesus. Whoa. The range on that. All right, we're putting the spears away. <laughs> That's crazy. The wizard games. <laughs> buff the dodge, buff the dodge. Dodge the buff. Alright, so we got wizard. Double wizard. I don't know what's being casted. 
<laughs> oh no. <laughs> Welcome to FP the video game part two. Oh my god, that guy's damage with that. <laughs> These guys are crazy with the damage. Oh my god. They have so much. Okay, you know what? I just give up on complaining about FP at this point. It is what it is. <laughs> Use rocks to dodge the, the fucking spells, I guess. This is why I double spear people. <laughs> they deserve it. <laughs> All I, all I have happened to me is I get casted at for like 10 minutes and then the real fight starts. So it's like Chase dodges you for 20 minutes while you waste your FP and then and then I can participate in the fight. That's how my invasions have been going. That seems to be the way. <laughs> Yo! Run, Paul, run. I'm trying my best, man. I'm trying. Like, I do better with the cannon. <laughs> like, this is why I was probably having a decent time as a wizard, because when people long range me, I can long range back. So, you kind of have a an offense, I suppose. When people just use, like, the AoE spells, you don't really have much choice. You just go. Just dodge it all. Ruri Rana! Hey. Some other high damaging AoE coming my way. Yep. <laughs> is that a moon veil? What is that? Am I stuck on a goat? I'm stuck on the goat. Oh, that was 10 out of 10. That would have been the coolest hit. I knew he'd just run by me. <laughs> Get out, Deked. I'm so sad that he Bloodhound stepped right there. That was such a good attack. Yeah, I have one of those teeth. That's what we're doing now. I have that as well. Whoop. You chose this life. You chose it. You chose this life. <laughs> you chose this. <laughs> I think he quit out. <laughs> That's what you get. Spam AoEs at me for 10 minutes? What do you want from me, man? <laughs> like, dude. <laughs> oh. Oh. Sometimes, man. Sometimes. As fun as this game is, Dark Souls 3 has better PvP. There's no ands, ifs, or buts, man. They need to... There's things that can be done to balance it, but man... I gotta spend 10 minutes playing dodgeball before I can participate in a fight. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I'm not even salty. It's just it's just true, man. It's just true. Like that's not even salt or anger. Not even in the slave just bit annoyed. Cause like that's what Elden Ring invasions have been. But like you just gotta admit it to yourself at some point. Like you spend the first ten minutes dodging. It's just how it is. Like here we go. This is the beginning of the dodging. Like it's <laughs> This is how it goes. You know? <laughs> it has begun. In about five minutes, I'll swing my sword. Wait. This guy might get close enough that I can hit him. <laughs> this is reinforcing what I'm saying so hard, it's almost poetic. <laughs> oh, this, this is 
funny. This is good. This is good. <laughs> like I can't make this up. I actually can't. Almost seems set up, but no. This is this is the beginning. We're uh, we're dodging currently. Soon we'll be in attack phase. It's almost like an art, like a, a turn-based RPG. Right now it's their turn. Soon I'll have my turn. Takes a bit, but you know my turn's coming. <laughs> oh, he's got a sword attack. Well, that's nat. That's unnatural for you, wizard. There was my attack turn. And then we go back to dodging the spells. <laughs> soon. Don't worry, my time is coming soon. Soon. <laughs> soon it will be my turn. There we go. That was my turn. Now it returns to his turn. Now I gotta play the defense for a second. Front flip! <laughs> ah. See, when it's when it's alone, it's not so bad. You know, for one v ones, it's not bad. I will I will admit that. Wizard attacks aren't quite as powerful out of a group. <laughs> Bleed! <laughs> Some FP here. My time has come. <laughs> My opening. <laughs> Haha! <laughs> you don't have someone to cover for you now, wizard! Smack! Smack! Bleed! <laughs> Goodbye, wizard. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Parry? Oh yeah, true, I could've. I just wanted to... Nahil! <laughs> Nahil! Oh man. Oh man. Ah, ah it's because they burn and die. The like death burning animation is very, very high. Well, after five minutes of dodging, we get the dub. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Honestly, even do you know, dodging the spells is still a fun time. It's not it's not really like a heavy complaint. It's more just a reality. Hey, goodbye, bot. We'll be seeing you. <laughs> Let's go back to lane, though. But yeah, I think it would be a lot better if they would have had the uh, six player play, like six player limit. Two invaders and four on their team. I think that has the most fun to it. Uh, how do you get the equip menu to pop up without hitting start? I'm confused. I'm hitting start. Start X. You just do it quickly. You get used to hitting start XX like a little, little fighting combo, and then you're in your menu. You know. You just yeah, just practice. Um, let's try the poison castle. Four rivers of blood. Hey, but if you have a teammate though, they can split the the load. You know, it helps a lot. But yeah, yeah, I I, I get I get the four player thing sounds bad, but usually like in Dark Souls three when you were fighting a team of four, at least you had co invaders coming in. Like, you know. It, it kind of split up the team, so it wasn't like four aggroed onto you. That helps a lot, honestly. They don't need to kill anybody, but having uh, the four-player team not be just solely focused on you helps. Share the load. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the two invaders have to share the load. They do. That'd be terrifying, though. Yeah, also the 3v3 areas would have been cool, man. Like... I don't know. They have a lot of missed opportunities that I think they can add to with the DLCs. I hope they do. Um, 
four Mogwin Spears. Oh my god. I mean, you know what? Being outnumbered in any scenario makes everything strong. So it's hard to like, yeah. But some of those would be terrifying. Imagine you walk into a room. There's just a dude in every corner of the room and they all start using the Mogwin Spear. <laughs> and, the, and the spheres all cover the like area so you're just dead. That can definitely be a thing. Wait. Oh, they're up top. That'd be terrible. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we don't talk about that. That's true. That's true. We don't mention that. That would be hilarious. <laughs> uh, that was the best. That was a dad joke right there. I can appreciate that. Are they up? I think they're right at the boss door. Oh no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Oh, hello. Chad Squidward. Watch me as I stab myself. Oh good, you have the shield, that's perfect. What's that, a wizard? Smash! I hear wizard things in the corner. Oh, can you hold that now? <laughs> yep. I like that. <laughs> that was fun. For me. <laughs> uh, hello, Barry the Bee. Hello. Come back here, Barry. Come back here. <laughs> Where are you going, Barry? can have herself a nice poke off. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare do it. Oh, <laughs> you got lucky, Barry. You got lucky. I'll bleed you yet. <laughs> Nayu. Wait, who died? Hunter Mikey has died. How? Did Hunter Mikey fall in the elevator pits? a statue my berry <laughs> my berry pal this is not the way goodbye berry no i'm out of fp ah no what even happened to mikey i didn't even see what happened to mikey dude uh oh man <laughs> thank you leonardo that keeps me sane. <laughs> Did he think the elevator was down? Is that what that was? To be fair, we've all fallen in an elevator shaft. Alright? I don't want to hear any excuses. At least one point in playing a Souls game, we've like walked where an elevator should be and died. That is a fact. That is a fact. <laughs> Any DLC yet? No. It, it'll be a while. Yeah, but it's funny when it's not you. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes you get to be the guy that falls in the elevator. Sometimes you get to enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I have 270 so far, apparently. I wish there was, honestly, as big as the areas are, I wish there was, like, an area here, you know? That's possible DLC? <gasps> I didn't even think about that. Yo, Grand, thank you so much, man. Flail build, what do they scale off of? Excuse me. Naturally, probably more, are they dex leaning or strength? I'll try to throw at least one or two on a build. Thank you. Flail build win. That's fair, Wham Bam. I don't think I've watched the elevator go up and then tried to get on it. That's that's fair. <laughs> Yo, Grand Cheese, thank you so much though, man. Grand Ancestral Spirit. Sir? 
What's the cosplay here? You're you're a deer? I give you Sapuku. What's this? Whoa, 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 buddy, 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 buddy. Let a let a homie set up. I'm trying to Sapuku claim are you. You don't you don't stab a guy while he stabs himself. That's just rude. <laughs> <laughs> Rude and inconsiderate, sir. Oh. <laughs> That's just bad etiquette. <laughs> Watch out for the miners. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> no, live, ancestral spirit, live. Live. Any word on Wex Dust yet or DS3 servers? Hang on. No word on either of those. <laughs> hey, you got a summon. Nice. Ah! <laughs> I didn't think the host was coming back. <laughs> ah! <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible. Oh, I'm trying to backstab. Hang on. I'm trying to show you guys backstabs exist, okay? Relax, relax, boys, relax. Relax. Hang on. Hang on. There's memes to be made with the Ruin Greatsword guy. I can backstab him multiple times. <laughs> Watch out for the miners. <laughs> oh, man. Dodge! Nihil! Oh. Oh, God! Buddy, watch out, there's a big dog there. <laughs> no sleep. Protect him at all costs. Backstab! They exist! I tell you. And then this is a good way. Dog, no! No! The coolest to wake up. You ruined it, dog. You ruined it! Dog! <laughs> I hate this dog with a passion. He only hit me. No. <laughs> That was such a cool wake up. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> he did it twice. Stupid T-Rex dog. <laughs> Nihil. You pay the ultimate price. You Nihil. Dog betrayed me, dude. Yo, Finjo. Uh, well, I did a Dex Faith, but a Pure Faith is coming. I failed to see how this is the ancestral spirit, but all right. Let me just burn myself real quick. Oh, wait, that hit him though. That's interesting. He took damage, but he also almost countered. Interesting. Hmm. I like this guy. A little confused by it. But... Fun fight, man. You can get hit in the Raptors of the Mist, Ash of War. That's rough. <laughs> I feel like that's already hard to pull off. Ancestral Spirit in progress. Okay, yeah, he's got the red flames. He's not the blue one. The Devil Trident. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Damn, I didn't know you could get hit doing that. That sucks. That's unfortunate. Yeah, you'd think... Wow, I don't know. He pressed Raptor too, but he still got to do it though. You know what I mean? So you can still get hit doing it, I guess. Hmm. I'm level 137 at the moment. I'm mostly just pitchforking. It's so funny. Oh, that's a target I want to I want to hit. <laughs> I'll be on my way. I'll be on my way. Good day, sir. Good day. <laughs> They both turn around and we're like, what the fuck?
Uh, okay, that one was funny. That one was funny. That was rude, but that was funny. <laughs> I take it. <laughs> I take it. We need a few more of those. <laughs> I love this weapon. That was annihilation. <laughs> yes. Moog would be proud. Where could we actually use Moog's Great Rune effectively? Maybe at the beginning of the Moogwin area? On the birds and stuff? Just like crack it there. That might be useful. <laughs> Why doesn't anybody come in melee range? <laughs> uh, I love you, Bear Mageddon. It's funny. <laughs> may have a point, but you have to stand there and take it, you know. <laughs> See, they dodged. They got surprise attack, but they were still ready. No, not stars of frame loss. <laughs> Get it away. <laughs> it hurts my computer. <laughs> You're not supposed to use stars of frame loss on me. How convenient for the blue to spawn when I'm stabbing myself. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Nothing quite is as funny as this ever. Oh god. Okay, so we got... Oh, we could try the... Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Uh, ow! Ow, sir! Well, since my health's missing, we may as well just... Ooh. Tactical! Tactical. Ow. Ow. Sir, ow. I'm gonna bleed you, Mr. Blue. And your little dog, too. <laughs> Sorry, fight them. Fight them and heal me. I'm going in specifically for the blue. Nice. Goodbye. <laughs> Get jumped. Get him, my minions. Show them the way. No. <laughs> no. I hate that spell. It's so long range. You dare shoot lightning at me? I'll make sure I poke you in the face. Hang on, hang on. I gotta be out of range because I wanna, I wanna re seppuku here. Ow! Get him, my little minion! Ha 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 ha! That was a bad trade for you. Better save him. Ah, what? No. No. <laughs> Damn you. Cowards. Cowards. Get them blood, boys. <laughs> that was a fun invasion, though. I'll come back here, I guess. I like that one. Yo, La Party, thank you so much, man. Scale Shield could help in those longer invasions. Scale Shield. You mean the one that regens you? I can't wait. Scale Shield. I'm blanking on what the Scale Shield is. Thank you. I sound like I could do a good Yoda impression. I don't think so. <laughs> I've never attempted it. I have to. I have to go like rehear Yoda. Can't embarrass myself right now. I'll practice it, then I'll do it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Finjo. I can't dishonor Yoda like that. Let's go here. Uh, is it? I could try Azula, I guess. Um. Where, where do you guys invade in for Amazula, though? I always go to, like, where they're by the boss fight. It's terrible. Like, here? I can't even invade. Wait, I can invade here? What? Boys. I thought I couldn't invade right here. Okay, maybe... This is by the boss, though, right? So... I will be there for you, Finjo. Remind me. 
Invade here you can. <laughs> yes, that is true. But is it a good place to invade though? Try on the narrow cave before Rykart's fight. The lava one? Oh, I don't know if I have the shortcut open. That could be fun. Thank you. So I'm not getting any here. What about here? Crumbling beast grave. Good place to invade. Here? Nope. Hmm. Rooftop is the best, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I wonder why, though. <clears throat> oh, hang on. My throat is so dry. Why is this one of the better spots to invade? Okay. Yeah, we got one right away here. You didn't get invasions? Yeah, I didn't get any until this spot. What's with this spot? Because it's close-ish to the end of the area, maybe? Sir Dantwizzle. Alright, Sir Dantwizzle. Um, they're always up there, huh? When I invade here, I think. You don't see me. In fact, you don't see me at all. <laughs> there is no way I got that kill. Hey, man, long time, sad first time catching you there. Death to the dishonest wizards. Smiley <laughs> face. Dude, it's Domino. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you. That was, that was perfect timing. You got to witness that. That one was in your honor. <laughs> dude, just a death bubble appears out of nowhere. No big deal. Hey. I don't trust you. Tech. Ha! Huh. You think your rivers of noob can fight my bay? The bay within. I will stun him, and then I will bleed him. Oh my god. Hey, Blue, you want some of this? Just in time to die. Oh. <laughs> Fun fight, though. <laughs> Rivers of Poo. <laughs> Rivers of Who? <laughs> no one. That's right. <laughs> That's evil. This weapon plus that area is evil. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Well, that's funny. I really want a Castle Soul one, but I can't get one. <laughs> yeah, there was so much skill involved in that L2 right there. Did you see me? Did you see when I L2'd him? <laughs> oh god. It's okay though. I'm slowly embracing it. Rivers of ah ah. Uh. Ah man, ah. Oh, Can we just spawn in the castle? I'm a lazy guy, man. I'm lazy. I love how the build is strength arcane, but this has basically been uh, a Mogwin sacred spear weapon showcase. Welcome to the first episode, guys. It just, yeah. What? I'm on the wrong side of the castle. Damn it. Yeah, use the finger. Castle soul, you mean spawning outside? I know, right? You literally have to, like, break your way into the castle. Put me in there, man. Oh, finally. Thank you. Jeez. Whoa. Where was the spawn earlier? What the hell? I'm a coming. Hello, boys. I've come to make blood bubbles. Will you participate with me? I stand here on the precipice of the bubble. Hello. I've made my presence known. <laughs> now I'll take my leave. <laughs> Until round two comes. <laughs> 
Hey, he's got one too! Yeah! 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 We're buddies! <laughs> yeah! Okay, I, I don't know. Let's see. We're gonna have to guard break that. He's got a wizard though. That wizard, it scares me. Ow! Ow! And there's another blue on the way in. I'm gonna have to play this real careful. Or just, you know, this guy has two HP, so we'll kill the wizard first. Just out of spite. I wish I had a throwable. He had health? Oh, he didn't have health. <laughs> you know what? He was a survivor, I'll give him that. <laughs> I'll give him that. He was a survivor. <laughs> you don't even know about the pivots. Bleed. Neil. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Fun fight. Fun fight. Ganking on a ladder. That's tough times. Thank you. You know what? I haven't been able to go around shields that much like that, but that worked. So, <laughs> and you know, if you get a backstab and you're using the pitchfork, Nihil is beautiful. <laughs> it's actually the best wake up after a crit. Wow. That's crazy. What cheat service do I use? It's called the get good. <laughs> there you go. I can recommend it. Bingo, bango. <laughs> Yo, thank you so much though, guys. It's honestly funny. It's a good wake up though. And it's Domino. Thank you, man. Java. Um, there we go. Oh yeah, I've heard about that character mule people have used. I have it though. I only have uh, two characters. I have an astrologer that has no weapons, and then I have this character. You don't really need that. I mean, if you have a friend, you guys can drop each other weapons that you're missing. I mean, all four, whatever you guys want to use. This is your game, uh, but I haven't. The only thing I've done is traded with friends. This character I ran through like at the beginning of the game. I don't have a second character yet. That's melee based. Um, Up there? Can I get over there? This way? Chaika. Okay. Imagine having friends. <laughs> hey, yeah, friends have a lot. Hello, Java. What are we doing? Answer. You must have a teammate, right? Ha oh, bleed! Oh, that's a good use of that. That's a very good use of that. Whoa. Bleed! No! Oh wait, that's your teammate! Yeah, 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 I'm happy I hit him. <laughs> I'm happy I hit him. Well, hello, Gustavo. Boom. Take that, Moon Veiler. I didn't even know you existed and you still got healed. Rivers of blood. Rivers of blood. You want that? Ha! Hey, that's my tactic. Get your own. Get your own. <laughs> nice job, Chaika. Good teamwork. We both have the Nahil. Who will Nahil first? What? No! Damn you. You're wise. What? What? Dodge the blood loss. That actually buffs me too. Ha! Aw, oh, man. I wish pivots worked as well as they used to. They're so beautiful when they work. <laughs> oh, I still caught them. Even with Bloodhound stick. Wow. That's crazy. I'll trade you. Bap. 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 
We can parry that. I'm thinking about it. You like a bloodhound step? I'll give one to you too. Now we both have it. Except for I'm gonna get rid of the Scarlet Rod. And Spur Rapier, buff it up. Where'd he go? Oh, he went over there. Bloodhound with Bleed is pretty strong. As long as I can dodge the Bleed proc though, he's doing a pretty telegraph. It's not too bad. And I have that to heal myself. Although he's getting the blood quick. That's actually a very fast bleed build up on that spear. Compared to what I have right here. Comes out very quick. I know, right? Bloodhound with the bleed, dude. It's it's oh, and he's got that, and he's got a worming stone. Oh my god, dude. Very good example of FP. I think is he out? No. Oh, how did that not hit him? <laughs> Goodbye, sir. <laughs> Fun fight, man. That was such a beautiful backstab attempt. Also, I'm a little displeased I didn't get that. GG, though. <laughs> okay. Uh, where do we go? Back to the underground city? There we go. <laughs> yeah, yo, Chaiko was there for the teamwork at the beginning. That poor sun bro, though. Uh, yeah, mine are all bleed. I could have ones that have innate bleed buildup. What do I even have that has innate bleed buildup? I guess I could have an occult scythe, but the bleed buildup is a lot worse than if you blood infuse them. Oh. There we go. Um, where do we go? Let's try... I actually like this area. Uh, this character is 137. Uh, what does arcane affect? So it would up your uh, your bleed rate on your weapon as well as your poison rate. It doesn't affect Frostbite or Scarlet Rot though. Uh, which is, I guess, pretty good. Scarlet Rot's a pretty strong stat for that one. I guess bleed is stronger though if you think about it. So it's kind of funny. Uh, what's the buff on the Moog Spear? It just kind of is like a fire buff on its, uh, let's see, the AR difference. I'll go to a different area, though. We're not getting an invasion here, so let's go back to the Dynasty. Uh, I think it buffs it by, like, 30, though. It's not much of a buff. Yeah, 30 more AR. Uh, yeah, I mean, if uh, people are always playing all the Souls games, so 100%. Uh, the PC servers for all of them are still offline, though. It affects... It didn't affect Scarlet Rot for me when I was using the Ansper Rapiers. Didn't increase it at all. Grigoris. Plus, my game was broken. <laughs> it didn't seem to change it at all. Wait, what? What did I miss? Yeah, like the occult is a decent amount less bleed. Yes, I'm dumb, and am I being dumb chat? Does Arcane affect Scarlet Rod? Because I used them as like one of my first builds, but I, I didn't see a change. Could have been my lower level character though. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Uh, the Ripple Blade's okay. I'm not a fan of the moveset in general, though. Uh, maybe the Halberd one. What's the Halberd one called? That one seems okay. I might add it to this build. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it doesn't affect Scarlet Rot. I'm pretty sure it's only poison. Hey, Zakane, what's up, dude? Hello. Hello. My beloved. I kind of miss the old the Dark Souls, like... Ooh, what does that do? Electrify Armament! Um... I don't know. Let's try a spear. We haven't used a spear at all. Spears are cool. Huh? <laughs> oh, he was looking for... Okay. He was doing something else. I just dodge that like that? How did I do that? Oh! Oh god, okay, well that works well. <laughs> Let's try a spear. <laughs> Grabs the scythe. I just like to keep you guys on your toes. Make sure you're listening, you know? Did I fight the secret dragon Azula? Oh, yeah, yeah, the, red, the, the lightning dragon I did, yeah. I think there's a dragon I missed, though. Where's the one in Lanedale? I know there's a dragon in Lanedale. It's like around there, up on the hills. Only way to boost Scarlet Rot is to put Frostbite on the Ants per Rapiers, and that boosts the Scarlet Rot. Interesting shade. I wonder if that's meant to be. The Plassy Do Sacks? Yeah. <laughs> Plassy Do Sacks? This scythe is pretty good with that on it. I mean, I already knew that, but like, I never actually like physically fought with the scythe that much. So yeah, you, I guess you can use... Yeah, try it. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I guess you could put the Anspers on like a, a Dex build then and just have them Frostbite infused. They'll have good Frostbite build up and then good Scarlet Rot. That's kind of cool. Kinda cool. Hmm. Ripple weapons with sleep grease sleep faster than St. Trina's. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> so like the sleep grease. And then what is the halberd name? I always forget the, the arcane halberd. I should really get that. Uh, different saves or just one? Well, I have just this one character backed up every time I reallocate him. So, like, I'm, I beat the game at, like, level uh, 50, actually. And then I backed up my save. And now, regardless of what happens to that character, I'll always have that level 50 base with the game basically beaten. You know what I mean? So I can try out many different builds on that one character. You could do that on PlayStation, anything. That's, pe that's something people have been doing forever. Uh, yo, Zanswith. Also, if you're on PC, uh, you want a backup save regardless because you could be unlucky like me. Invade some dude who's cheating and he gives you panties that don't exist. And then you unknowingly put on the panties, <laughs> thinking they are normal items. <laughs> uh, and I think that I could possibly get you banned, getting an invalid item like that. So good thing I had that backup save. <laughs> Recommend it on PC. Just for situations like that. And yo, Zansmith, thank you so much, man. Yeah, if he is, if he is deathbed smalls, right? Yeah. That's what they were called. I really thought they were real, because Fia, you know? I don't know. I thought they were part of the stupid dress set. I was wrong. They got fighter banned? Yeah. See? I'm glad I backed up my save. Dishonest panties getting us banned. Yeah, they're unused items, right, Orion? That's what everyone told me. So they were real. Actually, what about over here? I've never really invaded down here. What are we thinking? <laughs> True. I thought he was giving me a gift. 
how wrong I was. Yeah, cheese, that, that'll happen. If you play on PC, we have those risks. Always always have a backup save, like a manual one that you do yourself. If something suspicious happens, just pop it back in. You're good. <laughs> Kona, thank you, man. Those dishonest panties. Thank you. I'd wear the panties if you gave them it to was, me. It was a cute character cosplay they had going on, too. I believe they were normal items. How wrong I was. I haven't actually seen all the cut content. I wonder if someone's made a video on that. I assume they have. I bet you someone has. I should just YouTube that later. Boop. Ooh. What is this name? You want to hit me in the back? Dishonest. Excuse me. Why is my throat so dry today? All the wizards get me dehydrated. Oh, no dodge. No dodge chase. I crawl to safety. And so begins the first five minutes of the battle. <laughs> Where we must dodge the long range projectiles. Snipe. I'll drink this now. Come get me, Blue. Come stand on the water. I'm, I'm a little confused at the, 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 the plan here, but sure. Any ice spell goes towards me, it's fine. Whee! We all start edge walking. Get your buff on. Hey there, man. Hey. <laughs> Dodge. Ominous. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> you got some cosplay going on? Face my mighty trees! Oh, okay, that was cool. But I almost died. That was cool. I'm stuck on trees! I'm good. That was a cool jump attack. Take that, wizard! How do you like that? Your blue has fallen. Your jumping r one -er will die soon. Hang on. First I gotta dodge. I love crouch attacks. Aha! Got baited in the wrong direction. <laughs> How does it feel, do wielder? Fire your Pee Wee swords. There we go. I don't want to kill. Wait, which one is the f the host? It's the wizard, right? Ow! That's rude. A wave of all that is golden. <laughs> Let me introduce you to Dodge Souls 3. Oh, that was a slow one. Madness Snipe. Dodged. Madness Snipe. Dodged. <laughs> Refuel the FP. Refuel the FP. Come here. Ha! Pew! What? <laughs> Trying to bait him into doing his running attack. Kaplow! Face the poke. The swords can be pretty powerful, I gotta watch out. Get bled, boy. Come back. 
It's like I'm stuck on his dead body. <laughs> Goodbye, wizard. I'll be seeing you. Mr. Pew Pews. The Great Battle of the Lake. <laughs> that was kind of a fun invasion. I don't invade here much at all. That was pretty cool. What else is there? There's like a perfume stand place. <laughs> a perfume stand. Uh, what's the bridge you were talking about near Rye Cards? You mean this? Not the temple, right? The... Yeah, the scythe is hard to be aggressive with. I'm gonna agree on that. Um... What if we just went up here? And just stood outside here. This could be a tough place to invade because it's a giant lava pit, but... Could also be fun. Oh my god, I would have died. Uh. Oh, you weren't talking about, like. Oh. Well, I'm here now. <laughs> May as well try it. I was thinking that. That's not really a bridge, though, I suppose. Nice. Okay. I take it. Oh. Hello there. Do you have a team? Hey. Oh. Hey. This is a terrifying location. <laughs> we do battle in here? I'm down. I haven't used this yet at all. Whatever you use, I use. That's fair. <laughs> Same build. <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey. Why was that so cinematic, the way it like jumped up with him? Fun fight, man. That looked pretty badass, just because he jumped. <laughs> it's over, Anakin. <laughs> the bleed damage is crazy. Dude, the damage in this game is just crazy. Very crazy. Oh no. Stay over there, Iron Maiden. Interesting spawn point. <laughs> I don't appreciate it. I should have been using this weapon more, actually. I think I like it. I mean, I know I like it on strength builds, but like, that was a two hit bleed, I think. Maybe three. I did poke him at the beginning as I spawned in. Up. Nice. This is where I wanted to fight, actually. In here. Yeah. This way. Seems like a cool little spot. I never invade here. Hello, boys. Get him. <laughs> I got your finish! <laughs> Ow, he actually used R1. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I can't deal with the wind scar. Hold up. Let me buff. It's only fair. Okay, well we all have big swords, then I need to have a big sword. It's only fair. I have to overcompensate here. Quick step. That's unexpected. The nice balanced one. 
Oh god. Two big swords versus my one big one. Hmm. I don't know if I can handle two big swords at the same time. I'm not equipped for that kind of thing. Sneaking. <laughs> Ouch. I won the war. Now it's just me and you, Willis. Ah. I will get your bum. You will not stop me. It will happen. Giant hunt. No. She'll bring a task. Fun fight, Willis. <laughs> Turns out I can handle them. <laughs> oh, God. Go, we go forward a little bit more. Nope, nope, nope. I dodge you. Well, oh. The bleed is pretty quick, honestly. Even on the, the, the uh, NPCs. We're just gonna we're gonna come in. We're gonna bleed. Well, yeah. Hey man. <laughs> How did the sun bro that was literally at my toes live, but not his teammate? <laughs> Four choices. <laughs> the guy mid heal somehow survived but the other dude just ran in and died that's that's fair that'll happen i guess he leveled vigor i didn't look at the other i didn't look at the host's vigor to be honest He was not ready. No. The sun bro wasn't, but he lived anyway. Um, You know what? I haven't gone here once today. To the grazing hill. Oh, I have 45 arcane. 45. Bear near near near. In a fight, right? <laughs> yeah. It's the only place I can handle swords. <laughs> Rene, thank you so much, though. You guys are actually funny. It's been such a great time, actually. Let's try Bower of Bounty. Uh, I like its R2 uh, climb. All the other great swords don't have a good R2, in my opinion. I think the thrust is better than the slash. Also, claim where it looks nice aesthetically. What? Potentially crashed? Probably crashed. Yeah. It crashed. Oh no, there's the static sound. We get it. Close program. Rip. Yeah, that's honestly the first. It didn't crash last stream, I don't think. It was the first crash in a bit. That is indeed a crash. Yes, sir. It's weird. On launch, it never crashed for me, but it, it did have a lot of disconnects in the invasions. Uh, now, I don't really get a lot of failed connections, but it, it'll crash like once a stream. Yours literally just did that. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I can get away with it some days, like if I'm not streaming like over four hours, but if I have the game on for longer than that, it'll crash. There you go. 
Um, that was during an invasion attempt, right? It failed us. Hey, Cam, have a good night, man. Oh, I always do that by accident. I only had it on for 10 minutes. Oof. That's not fun. Does one invasion game crashes. It, okay, actually, I was kind of surprised. Uh, <laughs> my, my performance has been pretty good. I don't get a lot of frame drops. In certain areas, I get some, but... It's been pretty solid, and they keep saying when they're updating it, they're still working on the like stability. And yeah, I don't get a lot of failed connections. So there's that. There we go. I know. But does it work like that if you're attempting to invade and your game crashes? Good to know. Um... Uh, well, at level 80, you get instant invasions. At level, like, one... Like, the level that I am, I think you get more than 125 and 150 because it can hit both player pools, but it's still less than if you were watching me invade at, like, level 80. Those are instant. Really just depends on, like, level and area. Now you know, game crashes, yells at you for quitting. You're like, how dare you? Yo, Among Us. I'm back, Among Us. What are you giving me? Please don't be the panties. Oh, thank you. What does it do? What's its natural Ash of War? That's oh, like a spin. Oh. Okay. I can go upgrade this. What should I put on it? <laughs> Light me up. Light me up. You deserve it. You gave me a blade. Aim for the headshots. I don't have a bow. Uh, wait, why can't I look at my weapons? There we go. Oh, it has, oh, it only, it doesn't have an interchangeable Ash of War? Really? Oh, it's, it's just an arcane scaling weapon. Like only arcane. Oh. Oh, we could try the cannon, though, yeah. Or... <laughs> Let's do it. Your DPS versus mine. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Good job, Among Us. Thank you, though, man. I actually didn't have that weapon yet. I need to try that out. I don't know if it'll be good on this build, though. That looks like a pure arcane weapon. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't get any bonuses for strength or dex, really? Can you have a just arcane build? I guess that's something I'm gonna have to work on. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, Let's go back here. Nope, here. Thank you, man. Can't infuse it, but it massively boosts arcane scaling greases you put on it. Oh. Oh, really? Oops. The blade is said to resemble a partial image of the ripple, and its attack power scales with one's arcane attribute. Okay. Wow, it doesn't really tell you that, though, eh? Hmm. Good to know. Well. I guess that I guess we got to try that out next time, guys. I'll try out. Wait, pure arcane with a cult, and we go for maybe some dragon spells. I don't know. Got to switch it up though and try something new next time. So yeah, I'll use that. Let's go. Thank you, man. Very fun gift. It wasn't the deathbed smalls, so I'm happy. <laughs> That's all that matters. As long as it's not the underwear. Yeah, you just have to have fun with it, man. Yeah. It's hard to say sometimes. We all get annoyed. But, like, yeah. At the end of the day, it's not very balanced. So, you just gotta take it for what it is. This is the guy that was complaining about Starlight shirts earlier. But, you know. <laughs> when you're in the moment, it's painful. Afterwards, it's fine. Whee! 
Yeah, I'm not even sure what ones I would use. I guess I'd have to look at the ones that have the lowest faith scaling. I don't want like pure faith in arcane. I want mostly arcane. I'm not wearing any. Ho oh, ho, I'm in pajamas at the moment. Yo, Yankee, thank you so much, man. Yankee. Um, where the hell? Guys, I'm blind or something. Where is this host? I almost ran off that waterfall. Oh, this way. Oh, he's above. Oh, the pain. Oh! Oh! He's not above at all! <laughs> Please! Oh, God. What hit me? A wizard hit me. I don't know where I'm running. That scared the shit out of me. I don't know how I'm alive right now. <laughs> he came out of a bush. <laughs> the wizard too. Damn wizard ambush. You. <laughs> Where's your wizard? Where are they? Where are they? Underneath me. I see. I see how it be. <laughs> Um, yes, I see. Come this way. Get our buff going. So cool, cool. The wizard was smart. He could cannon of Haima me, but we're not going to let that happen. Where are you going, Paladin? <laughs> you don't want to, <laughs> you don't want to shield off anymore. I did get ambushed. Played. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. You know what? That shield doesn't stop. Bleed. I'll just ignore the wizard. Sounds like a bad idea, but it's actually, it might work for me here. You feel the ambushes. <laughs> Eat this. I missed. He's got heals. Yeah, I think I might use the ice spear. He's super. He doesn't pay attention. Oh, now. Wait. This is watching the stream. I was going to say, why did he turn? Oh, I was going to say, I heard somebody behind me. Use the cover of trees. Ha. Ha ha ha. Where's the host? He's in these parts. Nah, he's got the wizard waiting. I know your plays, wizard. Take that tree, wizard. <laughs> No, no, no. We're not going to fight in the bushes. No, 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 no. I'm not down. That's where you have the advantage. Oh, while well, the wizard's busy. What the fuck? That didn't even hit him. How? That's very strange. He kind of just like walked through even the spear thing. Huh. <laughs> Yo, Eclipse, thank you so much, man. That was a weird connection issue. I've never seen that. Oh, 
Oh wait, my rings aren't organized. Hello, game. Clicking L3 to organize rings. Hello. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna pop the bubble with the fan dagger. Yeah, hundred percent on that. Or it popped on its own. Yeah, I do wanna see what was up with the ice ash of war right there and why it didn't guard break though. It was strange. There we go. That time it worked. I'm gonna say that should have worked before. <laughs> the waterfall is nice. Very pretty here. Tim. Veil in my butthole. Man, shield turtling with a wizard is tough. Because I can't just spam the wizard. <laughs> oh, the wizard. Oh, you mean the, the bot spam, yeah. I guess I have no choice. I just need to staff rock them. I could just kill the wizard, but then that guy's going to come in with a pretty damaging attack. I kind of want to make them think I'm afraid. Easy. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Now we can have our fun. There we go. Perfect way to get through guard counter. I'm out of FP! <laughs> That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. <laughs> oh, it's pretty funny though. Come back here, Paladin. Do you fear the lone fight, Paladin? Come on. I think that goes through shields. I'm I'm really convinced. <laughs> Goodbye, Paladin. See you later, homie. <laughs> My no FP got me wrecked right there for a second. We're good though. <laughs> Yo, long term. Thank you so much, dude. Hang on, I'll get those bots. I was just a little busy. Did I get the right thing? Okay, yeah. Good, good, good. Good, good. Thank you so much, long term. It's been fun, actually. <laughs> so hilarious. Counter Mimic Veil? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not the best person to ask about that. I give up when I can't find somebody. <laughs> Thank you, Long Term. I've been having such a good time with this, actually. It's nice to have a new Souls game. Learn all the new things about it. Yeah, the spin seems to ignore shields. It doesn't even, like, guard break. So, like, it doesn't do stamina damage. It's straight up, if you're near it, it just knocks the shield away. I tested it on uh, Lost, and yeah, he didn't lose stamina, it just straight up moved the shield out of the way. It was like, nope. <laughs> so really good for that, I guess. I thought it just did a large amount of stamina damage. I was wrong. Yeah, so if you're like close range and someone's using that, no amount of stamina is going to let you block it. They have to be like right in your face though, so it's kind of, I wouldn't call it like overpowered against a shield. Like you just need to not be in their face. Um... Maybe we'll go for one final one here. It feels like it's dying down a little bit. Yeah. 
Uh, I, I've done in the past where you put the like a little electronic controller on the screen. If you guys would like that, sure. I don't know if that's like beneficial to look at though. Some people like that. Calum Ruins, a wild pyromancer. Oh no. Not a wild pyromancer. Hmm. Wait. Yeah, you know what? We'll... Mm, yeah. Yeah, I've done that a few times over Dark Souls 3. Some people wanted to see, like, what it looks like, but... You don't see my fingers, though. Yeah, like, I understand how watching a hand might help, but... You just kind of see the inputs on the controller. <laughs> What's happening with this guy? Oh no, he's found... Okay. Oh, Rivers of Blood. Okay. Rivers of Blood. Hello. Hello, Wild Pyromancer. You use the Rivers of Blood. Aww. You don't have a teammate. Which means you taunt her tongue, right? So... <laughs> That was the rudest shit. Oh, he's got a blue coming. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go with this. Oh my eyes. What are you doing? Where's your blue? Boop. Boop. Goodbye, pyromancer. I can appreciate that though, because I'm going to have to try that stuff out eventually. That's going to be me chucking fireballs. <laughs> going to have to do that eventually. Just end. He didn't even use the rivers of blood. He used the pyro. Got to hand that to him. Okay, we'll do one more. I think, okay, whatever, we'll do one at Dynasty, the the, the terrible, everybody uses FP constantly area. <laughs> that's, what, that's what this is, but I'll sign up for one more, for your entertainment. What, doesn't Pyromancy not scale off of uh, Int though, Timbo? I thought it was only um, just Faith. Okay, maybe the beginning area? Oh, okay. Yeah, it worked right away here. I'll take it. I will take it. Uh, yeah, I've used the Bloody Helis. Uh, ow, Bennett, but on my Dex Arcane version. This is this is the first time I'm trying, like, a pure strength one. Honestly, it's mostly just the Moog Wind Spear, but hey, the Ultra with the Bleed is pretty damn strong. And the Scythe. The Scythe was good. Oh, no, not Will. <laughs> I'm scared gonna happen oh guts summoned but it's a wizard <laughs> gonna get slapped <laughs> hello guts I disrespect your wizard square ah oh my god Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I thought the host was rolling in. Hey, Red. I don't know where he is. Maybe on top of here? It's gotta be close by, because we don't... I have a suspicious feeling. And my feeling was wrong. <laughs> What's he doing over there? Oh, maybe. Yeah, there's ways to... Hang on now.
Oh, 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 you're my teammate, Jitty. He's glitching. Uh, yeah, there's a way where you can have the compass not show up as long as you're not on like actual ground, right? Yeah. You can't see them on the radar because there's. Oh, I quit out. <laughs> okay, well, that saves me the time, I guess. Yeah, I've heard of that. Um, okay, I guess we, I mean, I like that area, though. You can climb the south wall with Torrent. Ah, another AFK spot. Man, they, you know what? This is a quick fix, and I really hope they do it. Just make it so you can't taunt your tongue, until, unless you're at a grace point. That's so good. Oh, you disconnected. <laughs> oh, shit. Well. You know what? The Elden Ring God saw fit to not put me through that torture. Uh, okay, I'll look for one here. Yeah, I feel you, Timbo. I feel you, man. I hope they bring it back. Alright, Caleb then. Let us, I don't think I'd want a horse. Imagine chasing after somebody on a horse for like 30 minutes. <laughs> That'd be awful. <laughs> Great co-invasion, I know, right? Pinnacle. Pinnacle of our skill, Jitty. I know it's Domino. That's why I don't even go there. Like, I know there's PvP hotspots that people enjoy, but half of them are those. It's like, I don't want to go to the beginning steps at Limgrave, because dude camping on a wall I can't get on and then same thing for the shack I mean there's ways up but like I just want to pvp I don't want to spend my time trying to kill someone camping on like a place that I can't get to hello there king nothing how are you oh yes shoot your wizard moon at me I counter with the wall <laughs> how do you feel about the wall flow I see you don't you don't understand the wall persists Okay, okay, I respect that guy. That was some parkour. That was some parkour. Hey. Weird. <laughs> ah, we're playing corner warfare, are we? Well, come into my hallway. Ooh, you weren't supposed to do it. <laughs> What even was that sound? Woo! Ooh. I'm protector of the wall! <laughs> Jon Snow. <laughs> hey there. What is that blue glow? I don't like colors. I like pillars though. Ahaha. <laughs> I'm sneaky. I'm as versatile as they get. This is a really good area to be using this Ash of War, by the way. Very, very useful. Oh! Well, I got surprised there, I will admit that. <laughs> No, I'm out of Effie. This is fun. <laughs> Ooh, this is quite fun. <laughs> I'm using the terrain well, boys. <laughs> <laughs> this guy hates these statues. <laughs> hey there. I'm <laughs> going this way. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> oh, he dead. <laughs> Thank you. 
face my pitchfork. <laughs> Oh, that would have been a good roll catch. Ah, oh, <laughs> believe. <laughs> Goodbye, Flo. I'll see you later. <laughs> that poor mage. <laughs> Every time he went to cast wall, pillar, wall, <laughs> pillar. <laughs> it's my favorite place to fight a wizard now. I'm. I like it. I'll drag them there if I have to. That was amazing. Protector of the wall, what is your wisdom? Use the statues against wizards. <laughs> All right, I'll call it there, boys. That was actually a fun invasion. That's good to end it on. Here is the build that we use. Uh, 137 or 138 lets you invade down to 125. So if you guys are trying to have a, a level that can invade all the players, uh, this is one of them. And then level 80, I recommend as well. Super quick invasions. Very fun build, very fun time. Thank you guys so much, Faster, and for the membership, man. Thank you guys. Uh, let's go look to give someone a host. I know YouTube doesn't have an actual rating system, but what I do is I find someone playing and I link their channel. So if you want to watch someone invade, Saint Riot is a oh, very chill dude. He's, he's invading with a katana. Yeah, I'm gonna try those out, Shade. I'm gonna I'm gonna see what kind of build we can do. Go say hello if you guys wanna watch more invasions. I will be back next time with a different build. Maybe the pure arcane one. I wanna see what we can do with that. That or like some form of dragon spells just to try them out. But until then, I'll see you guys all later. Get some rest, good night.